over He's there. He's going around the outside, oh around the badger. God, yes, he's, oh, this is ballsy, going around the Dunlop. Oh, oh, good drive, side. no boy. Oh, my word. Austin's coming driving. through. Clip it, clip it. You know what to do. Hit that goddamn clip button. That was a fantastic bit of driving. As it comes down to the Ascari Benz, there's some traffic in front of him. It's a Red Bull. Oh, oh some oh, what a crash! What a crap! What an impact! Wow, somebody clipped that. What's the back up the button? That's all right. What's now 50 Max take his teammate? Is he gonna do a double overtake on Eggers? Oh my word! Is he gonna get this one to stick? He does it, somebody clipped that. Double overtake from F50 Max. He is on it tonight. Sam Tabner and Benji Brundle going side by side. Oh, contact, contact, and Sam is gone. Oh, what an impact. What an impact. He is gone. Oh, so Adam. Oh, my. What, what a move. What a move by Adam. Somebody clipped that. I mean, clip that. That is a, that is good as an overtake as you'll ever see. Is Benji going to try and switch back? Benji has got great traction out of turn three. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, they're banging wheels. They're banging wheels. There's Benji's car. And Benji's going to do it. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, my word. Easy, Tigers. Easy, Tigers. Oh, Kush has been spun around. Big crash. Big, big, big crash. Somebody clip that. And he puts it in the next <laughs> wall. <laughs> hey, there we go. I, that's, I like that. I like that. I like that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's BK and the Xbox, Beer and Kebab, the racing guru. Welcome to the channel tonight, ladies and gentlemen. we got some racing for you tonight, courtesy of the Total Impact Racing Division 1 Superstars, no less. And we are at Canada, the circuit, the Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix. It's going to be an absolute cracker tonight. Joining me in the comms booth to call the action is my Friday night partner in, cr in crime, The Voice. Kenzie Retro, good evening, Kenzie. Good evening, dear. I, I am still trying to recover from uh, that dramatic climax for the Division 2 race last Oof. night. Oh, my good Lord. Was that a... I was out of breath at the end. And that takes a lot to get me out of breath, but I was seriously out of breath. That was such a manic, manic race last night. What an ending. It all went down to the final two miles. Wow. But... um. It's going to be a cracker tonight, dude. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to tonight. I really, really am. I love Canada. It's one of my favourite tracks in the whole goddamn calendar. And it's going to be a belter. But what we're going to do, just uh, whilst the guys are populating the lobby, we're going to do a little hot lap, give you a little flavour of what to expect tonight. We'll be right back. Welcome to Beer and Kebab TV's Hot Lap Specials. This week, we are in Canada with a hot lap for Division 2 thoroughbred, Jackie Cole.
There we go, ladies and gents. A little uh, cheeky little interactive track guide to give you a little flavour of what's in store tonight. Let's do this. Let's ready up. Let's go racing. We're waiting for a couple of people, a little couple of little stragglers. But hey, it's it's nine o'clock, Kenzie. Yeah, we, yep. we, we got to go racing, brother. Absolutely. Damn right. Let's have a quick look at the chat. Let's uh, say a few hellos and good evenings to a few people. Let's have a little look. Uh, first of all, good evening, George Bell. Welcome. Good evening, Waddo. How you doing, fella? Uh, Doc Ryder Shane says, The starting screen <laughs> makes him hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beers and kebabs. He can't want anything more than that on a Friday night, apart from a little dose of racing as well, of course. Uh, Waddo, Definitely. of course, Division 2 race winner last night. Broke his cherry. Pumpy, welcome. How you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, Butters, evening, boys. Hope you're good. Absolutely. Should be a cracker, this one. What a track can it is. You're not kidding, Jake. You're not kidding, buddy. Jackie G says, evening, beer. And the legend, that is Kenzie. Retro. Sorry, beer. Oh, that's it. You're banned. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, Brandon says, evening, beer and Kenzie. Beer, the permutations for Canada. All three need to be completed. One, I need to beat Adam LB. Two, I need to score at least 34 points. Three, need to beat Oski by 34 points. Four, Ferrari need 10 points to win the Constructors. Good Lord. Wow. That's a wealth of that, stats there. I'm going to have to take that all in again and read it again later on tonight. Yeah, but, uh, but the thing to take into account, Brandon, is the fact that uh, I have had a look at the championship standings. Uh, Brandon is currently on 290 points. Mm -hmm. And uh, -bum -bum, Oscu is on 210 80 points between them Ooh, it's, it's actually it actually 37 points you need to outscore him by brandon because you've you got, got you've got the qualifying points as well don't forget bingo 10 points for qualify mm -hmm. 10 points for getting paul in qualifying 45 points for the race win plus a point for the fastest lap that's 56 points fi that's 168 points up for grabs by my rough calculation 168 points is still up for grabs ladies and gentlemen yep. But what we're going to do, we're going to go trackside and we're going to give you a quick run, uh, rundown of the runners and riders currently in the lobby. We'll be right back. Take a look. Okay, there we are. We'll give you a rundown of the drivers. A quick audio check as well. How are we sounding in the chat? Hopefully we're sounding all good. If you can give us a heads up, please. Oski says put the hat on. Oh, Christ almighty. All right, all right. Well, I might take it off later on, but I'll put the hat on. Hang on, two secs. Okay. All right, is that all good? Uh, it's not quite straight. Okay, well, let's give you a quick rundown. We've got actually we we got some activity already. We've uh, we've got a car coming out the pit lane, and I'll just give you a rundown. Just want to find out who my lead. My hat, my hat is not on straight. Jesus Christ, what am I like? Holy crap! Get yourself sort of organised, beer. Uh, Cookie Chip. Oh, we're talking about. I was going to talk about talk about him. But here we go. Let's give you a quick rundown. Uh, SLR Nikki ERN Ski Feet. Cookie Chip and makes his return to Division 1 racing tonight. And he's in the Red Bull partner in Adam LB. I'm fascinated to see how Cookie Chip gets on tonight. And we've got Brandon, championship leader. We've got Findium, Adam LB, Oscu is back after a two week absence. Bingley is in the Renault. F50 Max race roller, Sam Tabner, Crispy, ABR Freeman, Relic Nook, LP Smoke, Zydrad, Psych Zany. An XRL Ultimate. I believe UK Beast Assassin is on his way. Um, he said he was going to miss part of qualifying. Um, Crispy is disqualified. That's fine because he's actually serving a quality band, so that's all tickety-boo. Um, that's, that's what, two weeks in a row he's had that, hasn't it? Yeah. No, it was, I think it was, wasn't it Nicky last week? Nicky had the, had the quality band Oh, last it was week. Nicky, yeah. That's, anyway, that's what I was thinking. jump on board, cookie chip. It's hot lap time, Kenzie. Take it away. Right, here we go. Coming up towards... Uh, very tricky chicane complex. Uh, so this long, long right hand of uh, turn two looks more like a her hairpin than the uh, exit of a chicane. There's a chicane coming up, turns three and four, and then we're coming up towards uh, the Vettel corner, as you put it, uh, in Division Two last night. Uh, that was a dramatic climax to the 2011. Uh, Canadian Grand Prix easily up there as one of the best races of all time in the modern era, especially. Got another chicane to negotiate here. It's turns seven and eight, coming up towards the tight hairpin of turn nine. An embarrassing finish for uh, Nigel Mansell back in 1991. He stalled the car at this hairpin, believe it or not, uh, resulting in Nelson Piquet 
getting the win on that day. Down this, uh, down this DRS back straight, and he's coming up to the chicane that has the infamous Wall of Champions: Schumacher, Hill, Villeneuve, Zonta, Ventil. You have a name. Chances are, it's probably on that, uh, on that uh, wall. As a 108.868 for Cookie Chip, his first lap of the day. Thank you very much, Kenzie. Indeed, now we have XRL Ultimate, who's also on a fly. He's just coming down the back straight, but in fact, he has invalidated. So we're going to scroll back off him onto Adam LB, who's coming through the hairpin. How can you stall it there, Kenzie? Uh, well, he, uh, it was a case of uh, he ended up, uh, Mantle ended up uh, letting the revs drop a little bit too low. And that's what and that's what caused it to stall. I mean, I can understand putting it in the wall of champions, as you said. I mean, the, the actual fame, the very, the most famous name you missed off that list, of course, was uh, was uh, the racing guru himself, Bjorn Kebab. I, I've, I've done it myself. That I have put it into the wall of champions. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and that's why I said at the end of that list, if you you have a name, chances are it's probably on that wall somewhere. <laughs> Well, I've just seen a couple of invalidations there. Adam LB just went through an exploratory 113.4. I'm going to um, go with Adam LB because I think this is going to be his flying lap. Uh, Nikki is uh, on a uh, fly as well. Let me just check something real quick. Uh, if you just want to call this hot lap, just on um, Adam LB, dude. Uh, there's something on the website I need to check out real quick. Ah, right, you hope. Um, so coming up towards turn seven and eight now. Uh, that 113.4 was more of an exploratory lap for uh, Adam LB coming up towards the hairpin now. Pretty wide entry there. Now coming up onto the uh, DRS uh, back straight. Okay, this is good. I was just checking something, mate. I was just, che I was just checking the race report from last week. Uh, something just flagged in my mind, but it's, it's good. It's all good. I hope coming up to the final chicane. Got to be careful not to end up in the wall. Very cool. That's a lot better than the previous lap. And oh, look how close! Wow, point zero zero two. Wow, two one thousandths of a second. And Nikki says, "You know what? That's not good enough because I've just set a one zero eight four nine nine for my exploratory first lap." Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh, Zydrad has invalidated his first run. He is at the uh, hairpin. So we're going to jump on board with ABR Freeman, who is uh, currently coming through his turns three and forty k. All looking nice, uh, nice and tidy. Uh, yeah, Oscar, I've put the hat on, so hopefully that's all good now. Uh, Dark Rider Shane says uh, it's all good. His end, super duper, pooper scooper. That's what I like to hear. Uh, George Bell says, uh, what does he say? I've just lost it on my screen. Beer. I'm in McLaren tomorrow night. Oh my god, he's my teammate. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. I'm just kidding, George. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, he's gonna he's gonna show me out tomorrow. Yes, the racing guru is making his debut on a Saturday night uh, in the Pros League tomorrow night. In the McLaren, 100% race around France, I think it is. Oof. Yeah, oh my goodness, <laughs> Jason and Peru should be streaming tomorrow night. Here comes Freeman coming through the Wall of Champions. This looks pretty tasty. Looks like a low. Uh, 108 here it is. It's a 1081 for his first run. My, my Tay Hawkins, that's a pretty damn rapid lap for his first run. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be seeing some 107s very, very shortly. Well, it all depends on one thing, and that is the weather. Because I tell you what, mate, it is looking decidedly cloudy up there. Now, we have seen rain this week. We saw uh, a pretty horrendous uh, spell of weather at. Uh, on, Tuesday, on Monday night with the Division 4 guys, that race was uh -huh. racing almost zero, well, almost in, in pitch black. It was that bad. Zero visibility, yeah. It was terrible. Like, well, smoke's backed out, so I'm going to go with Zydrad. Yeah. But, yeah, um, uh, I mean, you, you said it perfectly well in, in, in the Facebook group. Massive hats off to the Div 4 drivers, despite such difficult driving conditions. Uh, George Bell says, I'm going to burst your bubble, it's all dry. I don't believe you. You, you said that. Uh, it was, wasn't it you or somebody else said that a couple couple of days ago and it rained in Q3? I think it was last night, wasn't it? Someone said it was dry all race and it rained in Q3. <laughs> never never believe what Cody's tell you about the weather. Anyway, we're currently watching Race Roller coming down, the uh, this long back straight coming down towards the Wall of Champions chicane on his first run. This looks... Oh, snap of overstick, corrects it. Well, I just lost a tenth or two there, but it still looks a pretty tidy lap in this first run. Goes through the 108 and 9. That's P5. Um, who have we got on a fly at the moment? Sam Tabner's out on the lap at the moment. Um, Zydrad is on a flyer. 
So it's coming up to the final chicane now. Let's see how he gets on. Had a couple of invalidations. He's going again. Just a slight nudge of the Wall of Champions on his first run. And he's going to come through with a 108.5. That puts him in P3 on his first run. Where's Ultimate? Okay, he's Ultimate's invalidated a, again. Okay, let's go with Sam Tabner. He's getting a toe there off uh, off Relic Nook. And he's invalidated as well. Yeah, he's just getting a, to he's getting a cheeky little toe there off his teammate. A la sort of uh, Jackie Cole and Jackie Jr. last night. Let's see how Tam gets on. Oh, that, that was... That was a... Uh... That was a near miss and a half between the two in qualifying yesterday. Goodness me. Well, did, I don't know if you saw my reaction. I was like, good Lord. That was so, so close. It actually worked out extremely well, but it could have been extremely disastrous. Yeah. Uh, that was very interesting. Um, I'm going to catch up the chat in a second. Good evening, ERN Storm. Welcome, David. How are you doing, fella? Says, uh, good luck, everybody. Good evening, Vulcan. Welcome, dude. Good evening, Ash. I'm doing extremely well. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in tonight, brother. Really appreciate support. Just watching Sykes only there, just coming through the uh, the hairpin. Uh, Brandon says, "I need Oscar to, D to, D to DNF to have a chance to win this week." That's what I that's that's what I like to see. Teammate spirit, Brandon. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is quick from Sykes. This is in the one sevens, I think. This is going to be the first lap in the one sevens. Is it? Oh no, it's just outside. Not away two. I thought I thought it was there. I thought it was for a little while. Uh, Bingley's just come through the 108, 241. Oh my goodness, look how close it is at the top of 10th covering three cars. Relic's about to come through in his first run. Let's see how Relic gets on. In the uh, Mercedes, goes through the 109 flat, which is P10 on his first lap. Uh, where is Finn? Finn's at the hairpin. Oscu has invalidated. Smokes him through. Ultimate uh, is just behind Finn, so we'll go and board with Finn on his first run. Of course, uh, regular McLaren driver now on a Friday night as he comes through to the Wall of Champions chicane. Oh, this looks, this does look like a 107. Slight <laughs> rub against the wall, really, really aggressive, putting it through. It's a 108.2 on his first run. Already, you can see the timing screen's looking very, very close. And I think we just saw Zydrag go through the 108.5. And a 108.2 uh, for Ultimate. Uh, XML well, Ultimate, the 1082. Wow, Skeefy goes through the 109 flat. Freeman's retired from the session. He's quite happy with his time. He thinks that's good enough. Uh, Oscu has invalidated. We've got smoke and a fifth night. Smoke it is. Smoke on the water. Fire in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Going through the wall of champions. Let's see how he gets on. Bingley's retired. He's happy with his time. What can Smoke do on his first run? It is a 1087. I put him in P10 on his first run. Uh, F50 Max or Oscu? Who's, who's first? I think it's Oscu. Yeah, it's Oscu. For most that have set a time so far, it's less than a second separating them. Well, I mean, look at the top five, dude. One tenth. <laughs> <laughs> it's that damn close. One tenth covering the top five guys already. Wow. Uh, Zola says the ultimate as. Uh, they said it's going to be a dry race. The weatherman never lies. Well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's what we thought last night. Okay, Finn's happy with this time. So he's retired. Here comes Oscar coming through the Wall of Champs chicane. He's on the wheel, running, I believe, no line tonight. 108-2. P5. Another oh, guy. In the one. Look how close that is. Good Lord. Here comes uh, Brandon coming down. He's stopped this straight. Now, I believe Brandon's back on the pad tonight for one night only. Yeah, because uh, uh, the world reports from Division 2 last night that uh, he is uh, still training on the wheel. Yes, he is, yeah. That he is. Uh, he's going to come through in his first run with a 108.5. It's P9. Top 15 go through the Q2, of course, ladies and gentlemen. So who have we got on flies at the moment? What's Smoke doing? Uh, Smoke's about to start another fly now. Um, I think it's just going to be Smoke at the moment, I think. Oh, he's invalidated yeah. straight away. Okay. Uh, what about Zai? Uh, Zai's on an outlap at the moment, so I think Zai will be our lead car. Still plenty of time left in qualifying. A few people have retired, of course. Uh, top four have all retired. They're happy. They think their times is going to be enough. The cutoff at the moment is a, is a 1088. Um, that's going to drop down. I think the cutoff we're looking at around about a 1085. I think um, Kenzie. That's my thoughts. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I've got, got, got to agree with you on that one there. 1085. Yeah, that's definitely going to be sort of like. Uh, the safety cut off. Yeah, absolutely. You never know. George Bell highlights um, says uh, um, Brandon works for Cody's. Yeah, I know he does. That's why I blame him for everything. 
And he's, he's told me it's going to be dry, so I've got to believe my source. You believe a Cody's employee about this game? Are you mad? Oh, good grief. Jeez. Jeez. Um, I think we'll do a little... Um, We'll do a little prediction tonight, I think, for uh, the race. I'll, I'll set one up in uh, Streamlabs, I think, so we can uh, you can redeem some channel points. In fact, I'll uh, I'll get on the case now, actually. Uh, whilst we're just watching uh, Zai at the moment on a on a flyer, one hundred eight five three seven on his first run, he is going again, though, as you can see. Comes through the uh, chicane, all looking nice and tidy. Making his way down to the Wall of Champions chicane. Can he improve on his first run? It was a 108.537. This does look pretty damn quick, it has to be said. This could be right up there, I think. It's a 108. It's the fastest we've seen so far. Wow! Great lap there. F50 Max has just started a fly as well. Uh, Adam LB is on the lap, though, coming through Sector 2, coming up towards the hairpin, I believe. Yes, he is. 108 flat, Kenzie. Now, that is your banker time. That's the benchmark. Uh, why is it only giving me two options for predictions? Okay, here comes Adam LB. Uh, 1086. He's, yeah, he's inside it by three tenths. Goes through the 1085. Goes P11. So he'll be happy with that. That's got him back up the order. What about F50 Max just coming through the hairpin, making his way down to the long back straight? <laughs> Discreetly in chances, I have a worth the trusty source that Brandon does not work at Cody's. Okay. Oh, I'm going to start it off in the chat. I think he does. I believe him. It's amazing how many drivers are actually just rubbing against that wall of champions, isn't it, Kenzie? But they're, they're getting through without any damage. Yeah. And uh, the incredible... The incredible thing now is now that F50 Max has set a time of 108.6, the entire field is separated by less than a second. Right, Psych is about to start a fly. Yeah, indeed, Kenzie. Look at that. A 108.094 versus a 109.047, which is Skiffy in uh, P17. So there is a lot of uh, things to happen here. Um, that's for sure. Any, any one of these guys could still drop out. I mean... You've seen Race Roller and Nicky retire from Sesh. Are they safe at those times? I mean, they have retired. They've banked and gambled on the fact that they, they've, they've got that time in the bank and it's going to be good enough. I'm not convinced. It's going to be close. But uh, basically, Kenzie, we've got two tents covering the top seven drivers so far. Oh, Sykes invalidates, so he is going to have to go again. So we're going to jump on board. Sam Tabner is on the fly. He's slightly up, actually. Uh, he's on a Williams. Is that... No, Max has gone again. No, no, no. He's going to be going again now. So Sam Tabner is the lead car. Uh, has he done enough? 108.5. I think he's outside it. Oh, no, he is inside it. He goes PA with a 108.4. There we go. That just shows how close it is. Okay, it is Relic Nook in the other, the sister Mercedes. Let's see how he gets on. Sykes only retired from Sesh. He's happy with his 108.276. Relic's coming through. Uh, he's on the cusp. 108.7, he's set on his first run. Is he going to be inside that time? I think he will be. Yeah, just. 108.6. Improves by a tenth. But F50 nice. Max. Smoke's invalidated. Cookie Chip is, is also invalidated. Skeefy's invalidated. So those guys are going to be going again. Um, what? Well Oh, Skiffy's, Skiffy's low on fuel. That's going to be touch and go, Ooh. man. Has he got enough fuel in the bank? Now, I think Relic's on the flyer again. Oh, no, no, he's not. No, he's 1.4777 seconds down. So, Smoke's on the lap. He's at 50 max. Okay, he's invalidated. Uh, he's not going to have time for another lap, so he's... Well, we've got the timing glitch, haven't we, Kenzie? There's about another 30 seconds to add on yet. There Remember? is that, yes. Yeah, we keep on getting that. We keep on forgetting, but yeah, it keeps on coming. Yeah, but, yeah because one of us is the host, and it's... Yeah. I hope they get that sorted for the next game. Yeah, really does grind the gears somewhat. At least put the right badge on, actually. Well spotted discreetly. Didn't didn't actually spot the error, but I, I, I can do that for you, actually, uh, discreetly. Give me two secs, mate. OK, 
Can you move it from the lap area? Do you know what? I can stick it right... How about up there? Is, is that better? That's better, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Right, right slap bang in the middle of the screen. There we go. Yeah. So here comes oh, LP Smoke. Cookie chips invalidated. He's out. The smoke's safe. That's he's, it, qualifying's over. I think he's going to complete the lap anyway, though, just to be safe. Uh, uh, the that's it. Yeah, uh, smoke went P9. F50 Max looks safe as well. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I think that's it in Q1, ladies and gentlemen. I've got OCD now. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the badge in the top right, and, and I can't see it. It feels naked. It feels naked up in the top right-hand corner without that badge. But I'm going to leave it where it is now. Shut up, Oscar. <laughs> right, that is it. That's qualifying. Uh, well, Q1. I was going to say qualifying done. No, it's Q1 done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. That's and we'll, my bad on that one. And we'll see some uh, lightning times, no doubt, in uh, P2, P3. I've got to work out what to do for a prediction tonight. What do you think? He's only given me two possible outcomes, so I've got to think of a good question. And you, perhaps you guys in the chat can help me here. A two question, a two choice prediction for tonight's stream. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Well, well, I think the simplest one to go for would be can Brandon win the championship tonight? Well, or like, look, will Brandon win the championship tonight? I think that's I think that's probably the safest one to go for. Uh, either that or will Ferrari steal the constructors championship tonight? That's a possibility. I mean, they only need to they only need to outscore their um, uh, their rivals by ten points. Mm, so you think that's going to be a given, really, wouldn't you? As long as, yeah. long as one of them, one of them finishes. But let's give you a quick rundown of Q1. Zydrad, though, fastest, the 108.9. Uh, then we've got uh, Freeman, P2. We've got Findy on P3. Bigley, P4. Xrail, Ultimate in 5. Then Oscu, Sam Tabner, Sykes Zaney, Smoke, Race Roller, Nicky Brandon, Adam LB, uh, Relic Nook, and F50 Max safely through to Q2. Dropping out of Q1. Cookie Chip, ERN, Skiffy, and Crispy, who was just serving the Quali Um Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do the Brandon one. And I'm going to set it up for... for I'm going to set it up for 30 minutes. That, that's if I can spell, of course, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm ham-fisted on the old typewriter. <laughs> uh, Oscar has left the session. Can you ping him an invite, please, dude? Right, help. Okay, that'll do. I'm going to sit up for 30 minutes. Prediction's going to be going live right now. It should be. There we go. Prediction started then. We've got a choice of two. Is Brandon going to win the championship tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Have a look at the, have a look at the options uh, you've got. You've basically got, yes, you will, or no, are you on drugs? So let's see some voting. Let's uh, redeem some channel points tonight as to uh, what's going to happen. Is Brandon going to seal the deal tonight? Just to give you enough, a rough idea of where we are currently at. That's your league tables going into tonight. Just to give you an idea. Division 1 current league tables. You can see there what the state of play is. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, I just did a couple of quick recalculations, and uh, yeah, Brandon was right about uh, needing to outscore Oscar by 32 points. Technically 33, because of the fact that Oscar has more wins than Brandon uh, this season so far. So if it ends up being a tie at the end of Austria, Oscar would win it on countback. Wow, yeah, of course, Brandon's not actually won a race this season. He's been Mr. Mr. Podium this season. Yeah. Well, he's been consistent with his podiums. Uh, yeah, I say, but Brandon hasn't even got a pole position. I don't yeah. think of it. Right, Nicky's about to come up to the fly, so I'm going to set the league tables off. But I will pop it down again in a minute for you guys. Okay, let's have a look at Nicky. Let's get some te uh, telemetry up. Uh, let's have a look at the tyre choices as well. Here we go, fitted. Okay, so uh, we've got overcast conditions again in Q2. Yeah, it is dry. But uh, let's have a little look. Let's have a look at the... Uh, see how the votes get on the prediction, by the way, as well. We've got 47,500 redeemed. Yes, he will. No, says 24,500. So, at the moment, the chat has got confidence that uh, Brandon's going to win the world title tonight. 
I'll have to wait and yeah. see. Yeah, indeed, because because if, if he if he gets pole position, he only need he only needs at least sixth place, and hope Oscar doesn't score any points at all to guarantee he wraps up the title. Well, I, what I'm going to be doing, Kenzie, because I know you've got the league table, tables at your fingertips, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be probing you in the nicest possible way for permutations as we go for the race so you can keep an eye on what's happening with the league tables if you can of course you know it's up to you in real oh, time i'm sure i'll be able to do without much yeah. difficulty that'll be, a, that'll be a lot of fun it's going to uh, make it for a fascinating evening here uh here comes nikki coming for the wall of champions in the alpha tory let's see how he gets on this first flying run on the soft compound tire in q2 goes through the 1091 on his first lap We've got finn just behind him also on the soft compound tire this is this will be quicker no, it's not. It's just an it's an exploratory lap from Finn, a one ten two. Yeah, uh, it looks like the, it looks like those that are on the softs. It looks like uh, they're going to be going. They're going to need to go for a two stop. Um, but but of course the two stop does look like it's going to be the faster option. That um, soft, medium, medium, or soft, medium, soft, depending on how you manage your tyres. The one stop, mediums to hards. But we did see uh, last night. It was uh, uh, it, it was the clear if I'm right in saying. He did mediums to softs, and despite the drama at the end of the race, he still managed to come back into fifth. He did, no, he, um, yeah, that's right, he did, did that ultra long stint in the mediums. He, he actually did extremely well to get those tyres to last that long. Um, I know Syke put in the chat last night, he felt the two stopper was quicker, just to give you an idea. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that that's that that's that's sort of like the information that I'm, but uh, that won, I'm working off. But Bodo won the race with the one stopper. And Leclerc might well have run the race with a one stop on the uh, on the softer compound tyre. Yeah. Had there not been that instant. Right, Finn's in the pit, so he is uh, going to swap over tyres. I think Zai is on the lap at the moment. He's coming through turn eight, I think. Uh, looks like he's backed out, actually. We've got Adam LB coming up towards uh, the Wall of Champions now. Okay, let's go have a look at Adam LB. On the medium compound tyre, so he's just going to... Uh, Set a lap, see how it fares, and then he can just sit in the pits and wait. Look, 108.5 on the mediums now. I believe the offset, that's a very good lap, by the way, is about four to five tenths of a second. Yeah, be roughly. So so that would be a 108.0 if you were on the softs right now. Mm, which would be a very competitive time. A very, very competitive time. Okay, so we've got uh, Relic just coming through the hairpin. Smoke's about to start a flyer. I think it is Smoke. He's going to be next on track. Uh, beer, says George Bell. Do you know when the Division 5 race report is going to be live? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it sorted, dude. The website's down at the moment. It's undergoing a major, major renovation as we move servers. And I'm going to stick all the... For the time, for just temporarily for the next few days, I'm going to be putting race reports up in your relevant Discord channel. That's what I'm going to do. Smoke and validates. So we're we'll going to jump on board a relic. So the race reports will be going up into your relevant uh discord with the standings as well i mean the website is up but it's not if if that makes any i can see it but you guys can't um and we're not going to update it until uh, it's been completely recoded we've got dex vinyl the web developer he is on the case web developer extraordinaire he is the man the guru of web design does it well does it for a living basically so it's going to look mighty fine when it's all done. Right, we're just watching Relic coming up to the hairpin. Slight lock up there. Let's see how he gets on. Uh, JKT says, I've literally spent all my channel points. <laughs> you little gambler. <laughs> hey, that oh, makes Lord. two of us. Oh, man. Well, here comes Relic. I'm going to give you an update where well, you can see the scores at the moment. Um, Relic is about to go through on his soft compound tyres. 1097. Not especially quick there from Relic. Uh, Sam Tab is making his way down. Um, on the soft compound tyre. Let's see how he gets on. About to cross the line. No, he's getting... He's backed out. He's getting some heat into his tyres. That is interesting. He might, he might have deliberately done that, actually, just to make sure he doesn't have to start on the softs possibly i'm not too sure uh oscar has just set a fastest uh, sector in sector one but I, i'm not convinced he's my car where who is um trying to work out who my car is actually it is that's uh, zydrad's on an outlap uh smoke is on the medium compound tire so let's uh let's we've got yellows in sector two. that's just some uh, some traffic getting out of the way 
Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit the follow button. Let me know who you are so I can give you a shout out. Talking of which, actually, I've got to give shout outs to Paul Toddy and DPV909 for following the channel. Welcome, guys. Smoke with the 1087 on the medium compound tire. That's a pretty tidy time as well, that has to be said. Because Brandon about to come through. I think he's got. Uh, Relic goes to the 1097. Oscar with the 1084 on the softs. Brandon is invalidated. Uh, Freeman is making his way down on the medium compound tyre. Man, my throat hurts. Uh, he's, uh, no, he's back up. <coughs> he's back up. Because Findian was, was uh, putting some heat into his tyres. Okay. Uh, Sykes only just come for the Wall of Champions. Let's see how Sykes gets on on his first run of the medium compound tyre in Q2. Goes through the 1084. Fastest we've seen so far. That's a very, very quick time. Uh, Ultwitz invalidated. Uh, Zai's coming down now. Zydrad. Um, yep. Finn's just started a flyer. Uh, Excellent. Oh, oh, at the moment. And that's, and that's Would you like cause sauce and salad with that? It's also going to invalidate the, uh, the lap oh. he's on right now. Ultimate's invalidated as well. Exactly the same as well, dude. Okay, Bran is uh, invalidated again. So he is probably going to have to come in and put a new set of boots on. I don't think he want to do another lap on those tyres. Uh, Finn's yeah. on a flyer at the moment. Coming through sector two, he's four tenths up. Uh, he will completely smash that, in that initial time of set on the sauce. It was just an exploratory lap. Uh, Georgie Bale with a, with a gifted subscription. Wow. Thanks, Georgie. The lucky recipient is Just Call Me Ash. Welcome, Ash. If you're in the chat, please make sure you say thank you to George for that very generous gifted sub. And for you, Ash, just hit the refresh button so it'll stop all those pesky adverts. Well, here comes Findion coming through the Wall of Champions, looking all nice and tidy. What sort of time? His target times are 108.4 from Psych, and he is a 107.9 on the mediums. That's our first 107 of the night. And on the medium compound tyre, I hasten to that add. That is quick. <laughs> Just a bit. Just a bit. A mighty, mighty lap there from Findion. Is it? And, 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 and putting that and putting that sort of uh, lap time on the equivalent softs, that's a 107.4. Yeah, that, that is a stonking lap. Okay, um, yeah, ultimate came in the pit. Zai, though, has gone for another lead lap on the uh, medium, so we'll, we'll stay with Zai. There you go, Ash. Ash says thank you to George. Oh, he's invalidated again. Oh, good lord. Uh, it's not looking good for Zai at the moment. No, he's uh, had a few invalidations, but when he does get it right, he is quick, as we saw in Q1. When he put that lap down, it was a mighty lap. Uh, I've got about five minutes left, or just a smidge under five minutes left in Q2, ladies and gents. Top ten, of course, go through the Q3. Bottom five drop out, but do get a fresh set of boots to start the race. The top ten will have to start the race on the exact same set of tyres they set their fastest laps on in this qualifying session. Not the same compound, but the exact same set of tyres. In essence, a scrub set. And that means if he makes it into Q3, if he makes it into Q3 and he gets into the top 10, uh, it's gonna, he's going to be running like a couple of less laps than, uh, than some of the others at the start of the race. Well, this is it. I mean... Um... It, it really does make you think about your tyre strats, isn't it? Right, Race Roller's on a fly at the moment. He is making his way up towards uh, turns... Where is he? Turn 7 and 8, is it? I think. Third, third chicane. Yeah. Making his way up towards the, uh, the hairpin of doom. One thing about Canada is the, 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 the curbs are not particularly slippery, are they, around this track compared to others? They're actually, um, you, you can run the curbs and be quite aggressive, quite confident, knowing that the car's going to hold. That's mm -hmm. what I personally fi find. Here comes Race, making his way down to the Wall of Champions chicane. He's on the medium compound tyre. Let's have a look at his, he did a 108.6 in his first run, but what's he going to do on these mediums? Uh, he matches the time. That's a pretty good lap there from Race. That puts him in P6 at the moment. Uh, we've got Sam Tabner coming through the hairpin. Bingers is just about to come through now. Bingley on the softs. Well, this is mighty. It's a 1081 from Bingley on the softs. Findion's retired. He's happy with that sesh. Uh, that lap, he's very, very happy indeed. Yeah, that's going to be good enough. Sam Tabner is not on a fly. Is he coming into the pits? No, he's about to start a fly now, I think. So let's go aboard of ABR Freeman. Uh, what do you what do you think we're going to see for a pole lap tonight, Kenzie? Well, ooh, 
That's that's interesting. Now you mention it, because uh, so, so based on Findium's time uh, on the mediums, we so like so we could be seeing somewhere in the region of one hundred seven four for pole position time. I mean, if if we get some sunshine in Q three, which we're actually starting to get now, the cloud is breaking. There are, there are some shadows on the track. Is it possible that we could see a one hundred six? Oh, that would be very tasty. Would the track conditions be conducive enough for a 106? That's the question. Right, Sykes retired. He's happy with his time. He thinks he's done enough there, the 1081. Uh, Freeman at the moment is just uh, well, just some traffic getting out of his way. He's making his way down towards the uh, Wall of Champs chicane. Adam LB's retired with the 1085. He's happy with that time. Here comes Freeman. This does, this does look quick. Again, some of the medium compound tyres. 1083, P4 in the mediums. That is a mighty, mighty lap on the medium compound tyre. Uh, Brand's on a lap at the moment, just coming through the Wall of Champs chicane on the soft compound tyre. Looking to get himself up to Q3. Uh, let's have a quick look at the timing screens. So 108.3, that's P5. So we've seen some split strategies, Kenzie, already. Yeah. Right, Smoke is on the mediums. and uh, Same set of mediums. He's done three laps, but he is going quicker now. Is he going to bail out of this one, or what's he going to do? It's a gamble. No, he's going to go for it. Oh, he's invalidated Wall of Champs chicane. That's unfortunate. Second time he's done that. Mm -hmm. uh, Zydra is just making his way up towards the hairpin. Needs to nail this lap now. He's in danger. He has purpled sector two, to be fair. But he is in quite a bit of trouble here. He, he can't afford to make a slip up here. Otherwise, he could find his way uh, gone from qualifying, which would be a bit of a shock. So let's see how Zy gets on coming down towards the World Championship game. And he's nailed that quite nice. This looks like it is going to be the lap he was looking for. It's a 108.6. Oh, that's, that's on the cusp. And uh, he's, he, he has not got time to come in and put softs on. So he's gambling that that's going to be it. And in fact, he is gone. He is out of qualifying. Because yeah, Sam Tabner has just gone through the 108.298 on the mediums. Wow. And I've just noticed that Ultimate's out as well. Ultimate Didn't is he? out. Not set a time. He's going to have a lot of ground to make up if he wants to get himself into the top 10. Potentially a podium. A lot of work to do, but we're seeing Canada. Anything can happen. We saw the uh, what happened last night. We saw what happened Tuesday night, of course, with the rain and then the drying track, which completely uh, upset the apple cart there. Here comes Relic Nook on the medium compound tyre. Target time's 108.6. He's just outside. It's a 108.9. It's good enough for P14 only. Uh, F50 Max has matched his time coming up towards the hairpin, whereas Zai is... Well, he is on a lap. Is, is it a flying lap? No, it's not. I don't know. It's not a flying lap. So I think Zai is cooked. Yeah, he's coming into the pits now. That's it. He's yeah, gone. it's all down to F50 Max. Can he get himself up? He needs to find a couple tenths overall. He was a little bit up in sector two, but he needs to nail his final sector. Target time, a 108.6. Is he inside it? Oh, he's done it! He's done it with a 108581. He's gone P9, and that's dipped race roller out of Q2. Wow. Relics, inv relics invalidated as well, so that's going to be him out as well. Yeah, uh, Relic was up as well in Sector 1. I remember seeing that on the timing screen. So uh, there we go, ladies and gents. I think we're pretty much done in Q2. And that is uh, quite a surprise there, seeing race roller and Zydrad out of Q2. That's for sure. Yeah. Wow, but what about that lap from Finn, though? Uh, 107 on the mediums. That was a mighty, mighty lap. Sam Tabner, though, that was a great lap there. Yeah, 108.2 on the mediums. You snuck in there, dude. That was a mighty, mighty lap. Good evening, Jason. How you doing, fella? Oscar says, that was a shit lap. I don't know if he's referring to Sam's lap or his own lap. If he's talking, about his, if, if he's talking about his own lap, he's correct. If he's talking about Sam's lap, he's wrong, because it was a blinding lap by Sam. <laughs> yeah. Still cars going through at the moment. It's a weird, but I, yeah, there we go. Right, it is. Uh, we, we are all done and dusted. So Finn then takes uh, uh, P1 in Q2, the 107.9 on the mediums, uh, leading Syke by two tenths. Look at the Syke and Bingley, one one thousandth per second. They are on different <laughs> compound tyres, but how close is that? Um, yeah. Sam Tabner, uh, safety through the queue, 
uh, three with another very good lap, a 108.298, as indeed Freeman, 108.316. Then we've got Brandon and Oscar, who will be starting on the soft compound tyres. Adam LB, F50 Max, and Nicky all through on the mediums, and we lose from qualifying. Race Roller, Zydrad, Smoke, Relic, Nook, and XRL Ultimate. Again, less than a second covering the whole field there, uh, Kenzie. Yeah, less than seven tenths between the top ten. It's looking. This is going to be a very, very juicy Q3. It's looking good. It's looking good. Let's go back to the command center. Okay. Just wait for the cars to uh, to do their thing. Uh, George says in the chat, Brandon, let's go. As Brown says, it's my first appearance in Q3 since Spain. Which was what? That was what? What, three races ago? Was it three races ago? I think it was, wasn't it? We've Australia, had, uh, bar, we've Australia had Monaco, bar in China. Monaco, Australia Baku. bar in China, Vietnam. Australia bar in China, Vietnam. Netherlands. Then Spain. Spain then Monaco, Baku, and... Yeah, that was about yeah, three weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, about three races ago. Wow. And time fly when you're having fun. Indeed. Okay, let's get some celebs up for you guys at home. And uh, Finn is our lead car in the uh, McLaren. I'm going to jump back track side because uh, I'm still in the studio at the moment. There we go. As you know, what, I'm going to take this bloody waistcoat off. This fleece off. It's getting a bit hot in here. Right, next Oh, there we go. Uh, if you wonder what Kenzie's doing, he's muttering away. He's actually working out all the permutations for the championship tonight. That's what he's doing. He is beavering away. Being the statistic statistical, easy for me to say. Statistical guru. The statistician. Oh, my good. Look, you know, blah, blah. I'll, just, I'll just try again. Statist. Uh, he crunches the numbers. Yeah. Number cruncher. Right, so that's the race. Nineteen points for qualifying. That brings it to the. I don't know. He's talking to somebody else at a party, and I don't know they're here. Anyway, uh, Finn is about as. Like I said, uh, like I said I'm, I'm, I'm notorious for talking to myself all the time. <laughs> hey, I'd do it in my ass because no one else wants to talk to me. You know what I mean? Seven. Okay, Finn's on a flying lap, coming through turn two, making his way up to three and four. The uh, the second of several chicanes around this track. Here he comes. Let's see how he gets on. Uh, Davey J's in the chat. Oh, come on. <laughs> Davey J, <laughs> how you doing, my man? Good to see you, brother. Thanks for tuning in, my man. Hope you're having a great day over there in the good old US of A. Okay, Finn makes his way through 7 and 8 on his run. He did a 107.9 uh, on the mediums. What can he do on the softs? Now, the track temperatures are going to be rising here because we've got some sunshine on the tracks. This is going to be interesting. I think they're going to all find a little bit of pace here in Q3. Bit more, it's going to be a bit bit more grippy. Uh, the prediction is still going well. Um, we've still got a few minutes to run there. Uh, 77,000 points have been redeemed to say that Brandon will win the world title. 68,000 say no. So it's pretty close. Oh, Finn's gone! He's got the Hall oh, of Champions! Why? Wow! Shocker! What? Is that our first name into the Wall of Champions this It is, week? it is, it is. And Freeman has to take evasive action. As Freeman goes through... 1077! Wow, well <laughs> Nicky goes through... Oh, that was an invalidation. That's unfortunate. 1079 with an invalidation. Wow. Sam's having a 108 flat. Yeah, the track is uh, it's evolving. Brandon, 1082. Um, Oscar with a 17956. Here comes a 50 max. Oh, he goes through P5 with a 1087 on this first run. Uh, Sykzani is on a flat, but he's invalidated. Wow, what a shock though. Finn um, losing it, Wall of Champions, snap of oversteer, started doing pinball down the start finish straight, and he's out of qualifying. Do you know what, Kenzie? Mm -hmm. This is absolutely true. Oh, just watch Adam LB. No, he's not, he's, not on a, he's not on a run at the moment. He's not on the moment. Um, I'm talking about Kate with my lead car. It's Psych Zany. I'm going to go with Psych. Do you know what, Kenzie, right? That is the. Genuinely, is the first time I have ever seen Finn make an obvious mistake on stream when I streamed his races ever. And Has the I, pressure got to him? It may very Ooh. well have done. Wow, Spinella! <laughs> he hey. says in the chat. 
Yes, spin on. <laughs> oh, man. But that is a shocker. Fraudiam, says Toddy. Oh, man. Hey, Toddy, Ouch. that's ballsy. Do you know who you're speaking to? Holy smokes. Oh. Now, what can Psych do? Now, Psych can think, I, I could take advantage of this, you know, and really... Uh... Oh, and, Psych! Oh, oh, Psych almost lost it as well. He clouded the wall as well. He clouded the wall there, those rear tyres. Still goes through the 1-8 flat P4, but my goodness me, he gave the wall of champs an almighty bang with his right rear uh, wheel, which is lucky that it's not hanging off. Yeah. Good lord. What about Bingus? Bingus is on the fly now. Uh, he validated his first run. He's on, a, uh, he's on a lap again. Let's see how he gets on. Uh, coming through the wall of champs. This looks pretty tidy from Bingus. They say the track is evolving with the sunshine. But then again, it's, it's clouded over again. But Bingus goes through the 108 flat. Oh, look at that. Look how close it is again. We've got a tenth covering four cars there. Yeah, that's from that's from our Lord and Saviour Samuel. Well, not actually, Osku, my mistake. Uh, Osku down to uh, Psych. Exactly. It is mightily, mightily close there. It's looking very, very difficult. Yo, it's in sector two. That's just some slow traffic. Um... <laughs> Georgie Pale says, yes, get the fuck in there. I bloody love you, Findia. <laughs> wow. I'm sure we'll be fine in the race, though. But it does. It just opens things up a little bit. It spices things up. Oh, someone come into the pits at a rate or not. Psych Zany come into the pits there at 3,400 miles an hour there. Broke the speed of sound. I heard the sonic boom from back here in the UK. <laughs> okay, Oscu is on an outlap at the moment, coming through sector two. Where is uh, Nicky? Nicky, 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 Nicky. He's somewhere behind him, so it's going to be Oscu will be the lead car, I think. Uh, Nicky, the chat says, now I can say out qualified Finn. Yeah, Nicky, take a screenshot because it's not going to happen again. <laughs> I could have, oh, do you know what? I was I was in such shock I didn't get the I didn't get the ambulance out. I think it's too late as well. Yeah, uh, but uh yeah, hopefully he's okay. Yeah. This is Jeff, are you okay? Uh Oscar is about to start his flyer. I should, maybe, maybe I should have got the air ambulance, you know. Don't forget you can still keep on voting in the prediction if you've got any channel points left to redeem. Seventy seven thousand points redeemed says that Brandon will win the world championship tonight. 68,000 say, no, you're on drugs. Uh, Oscu has invalidated. So we're going to jump on board with Nicky. Now, it's good to see Nicky in Q3. Normally by now, his car's been buried in the wall somewhere. Just kidding, Nicky. <laughs> Got to get my own back, like, you know. <laughs> so let's see how uh, Nicky gets on coming up towards the hairpin. Actually, no, it's not. It's coming up towards 7 and 8. There's a car in front of him, which I think is uh, Oscu, who is invalidated. So let's see how uh, Nicky gets on, making his way up to the hairpin now. Purple uh, Sector 2 there. Nice uh, view of his uh, right front tyre from Code Masters. <clears throat> not quite sure why I'm looking at that, but here we go. So let's jump on board, actually, as he goes to complete this lap. As we watch um, Nicky come through, this looks a pretty good lap actually from Nicky. It's a 1078 P2, <laughs> man, he is on it, he is on it. Sam Tabner's there. Um, oh, actually, I've got a breaking news here. I've got my roving pit reporter, uh, George Ted Kravitz Bale, in the paddock says, Incoming bit, Brandon Nosku singing, Championi, Championi, ole, ole, ole. I love it, beer. Such an atmosphere in the Ferrari party. Back to you, Mr. Beer. Thank you so much, George, for that, sir. <laughs> For that roving pit walk there, buddy. Really, really appreciate that. As we watch Sam Tabner, so the Ferrari mechanics, the Ferrari pit guard just sounding in fine spirits tonight. But here comes Sam with a 107866 goes P3. My goodness me. He's on fire. Now, Oscar came in the pits. Brandon uh, is coming down towards... Uh, where's Brad? Well, it's going to be Brandon. Okay. Good evening, AMS Luke. Welcome. Nice to see you, buddy. Hey says, nice lap, Licky. That was a good lap, wasn't it? A stonking 107.8. Uh, what does Brandon need to win it? Kenzie, over to you. Yeah, uh, well, the, fact, the simplest permutations you can get is, uh, well, I say, 
As far as the number of points he needs, he needs to outscore Oscar by 33 points to guarantee he wins it without having to go to count back. Uh, he can finish third with the fastest lap, or he can get pole position in qualifying and finish sixth in the race and hope Oscar doesn't score in both permutations. Oh, Brandon's just got in the way of... Uh, sorry, Sight got in the way of Brandon there. Oh, yeah, Brandon had to have bought his lap. Uh, stewards, take note. These are stewards. Uh, oh, yeah, it's me. Uh-oh. <laughs> that is duly, duly noted. It's like they're in the way of Brandon on his, on his flyer. Okay, so what's Sam Tabard doing? Is he coming into the pits to put a new set on? Yeah, he's invalidated, so he'll be coming into the pits. Uh, who's going to be my lead car? Bingley. Psych. Where did Brandon go? Well, Brandon's going to have to go again. Um, I smell Alpha Tory team play here, says Findium. Um, Oski, basically, as Kenzie said, uh, says that uh, Brandon needs to outscore Oski by 34 points. So are we going to see a bit of team play here, um, Kenzie, where Bran actually decides to, as they come through the Wall of Champions together, right, one and two in the Ferrari in the race, yeah. Brand just a cheeky little brake check and a punt and sticks Oscar in the Wall of Champions and comes out oh. to take a championship. Oh, the, oh, that is that is if that that is going to be shades of Senna and Prost Suzuka nineteen. Yeah, could happen, dude. Could happen. Ms. Luke says, "Should I do TIR? It simply depends on whether you're good enough, Luke. I have seen you before on track. I know what you can do, but are you good enough?" for TIR, that's the question. All right, here comes Brandon making his way up to the hairpin. Let's see how he gets on. Traffic there just getting out of the way, that's Sam Tabnett. Back on the power again. Uh, did a 108.2 in his first run. Uh, it's a m remarkable that a 108.2, which is pretty much a pole time yesterday, not far off, is only good enough for P7 at the moment. Yeah. Uh, let's see how Brand gets on. Comes to the wall of champs. Oh, this looks quick, buddy. This looks quick. Is it in the one sevens? It's a one oh seven nine. It's P four. It's P four. Gets ahead of Oscu crucially. Ah, oh, Sykes invalidate. He is going to have to go again. Where is? Who's my lead car? I think it's Bingley. Bingley was three tenths up. <coughs> Excuse me. This could be the pole lap if he can nail this final section. This could be the provisional pole. Snap of oversteer, which he corrects there with the, with the uh, steering input to the right. This is going to be close. It's a 107.7. It's just outside by one oh. hundredth of a second. It's P2. <laughs> Provisional P2. Now, what Splits about... the Alpha Tories, though. But Freeman is going quicker. Freeman's going quicker again. Oh, he's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'll tell you what. He, his wheel stayed on. His wheel stayed on. How did he manage that? His wheel has stayed on. He is quite, quite lucky as Oscar goes straight for his car, but invalidates. And Oscar would have gone... No, I think he would have stayed... No, he would have improved, actually. He would have gone P4, P3. Yeah, he would have done... Oh! Brandon's <laughs> invalidated. Nicky oh, with a 107.652! Wow! But what about... Here comes Saigzini. Here comes Saigzini. Mr. Speed. Has he nailed it? Oh, he claps the no, all the champions again. Down. And he's not. No, he's not. It's a 108 flat. Adam LB. Adam LB has backed off. I think, unless Bingley's on another flyer, we're done. No, Bingley's done. Nicky's taken pole. Wow. After a, qualif after a qualifying ban last week. Wow. Nicky has bagged pole for the out. <coughs> and we've got an Alpha Tory lockout, Kenzie. That Nicky just came in like a thief in the night and said thank you very much. Is, is, and is he, just he just yeeted uh, pole position from Freeman. Has he got Kawasaki racing, racing from or something? <laughs> has he got Limitless racing from tonight? Nicky, where's that come from? What a oh, lap! TR, oh, oh, TRL Limitless. Oh yeah, another guy you went about. What a lap from Nicky! Wow. <laughs> Oh, I think there's going to be some drug testing going on in the in the, uh, in the paddock after this race, I reckon. Okay. Just kidding. Stop the count, says Nicky. Oh, six. man, that's his catchphrase. Yeah, yeah. Nicky takes pole, the 107.652. What a lap. But look how close it is. Yeah. Freeman, 107.7. Bingley, 107.7. Less than the 10th cover in the top three cars. Sam Tabner, 107.8 in P4. 107.9 for Brown. 107.9 Oscar. 107.9. 
for Max. Top seven, all sub one minute eight. Adam L. Uh, sorry, Sykes Zaney, a 108 flat. Adam LB, a 108 four. Finn, no time set. Had that crash uh, coming out of the Wall of Champions chicane. What a qualifying session, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And the biggest thing, and the biggest thing coming out of this qualification is that I've just, I've just done the numbers. And, for, and it is official. Ferrari are your Division 1 TIR champions for Season 3. That's the, is, that's the, is that the Constructors' Championship? The overall that, from all the divisions? No, that, no, that's just the Division 1. Division 1. Okay, they're Division 1 Constructors' champions with the qualifying points that they've gained. Right, Chris, can you invite Crispy, mate? He's left the session. Righty ho. Wow. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to uh, put a ready up time because we were. Um, Hang on, if I can spell. Uh, we're going to go at uh, 22.01, so we're going to go in five minutes' time, ladies and gents. Um, I'm going to go for a little bit of a, a short break, actually, go and get uh, a refreshment. No, 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 someone's readied up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's ultimate. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. We might have to restart this. Restart the lobby? We might have to restart the lobby. Have you got the, uh, the quality? Settings. We're gonna have to restart it because people aren't gonna be back. Right. Uh, screenshot that. And screenshot that. There we go. Right. I'm gonna see if it, guys. Can you just give me a heads up in the chat? Um, are we gonna go for a restart? Because I'm not convinced. If if anyone is left on the start here, I'm gonna go for a restart. Um. Do you know what, mate? They've all got going. Oh some, no no some... no no! Some haven't. Some haven't. Some Is of them it? are going in AI mode. Okay, okay, we're going to restart. I'm going to restart, guys. Right. Uh, it's a restarted lobby. Yeah, so what are we going to do as far as ultimate's concerned? Are we going to put him to the back of the grid? Um, no, it goes to the next race. Okay. So there'll be grid positions uh, as, as, as they were. So we yep. are going for a restart, guys. And we're going to dashboard the game as well, just to be safe. Just to be safe. No, people weren't here, mate. There were a load of cars in AI mode. Um, Crispy's been kicked, so we are restarting the lobby. It's uh, an executive decision. Yeah. We have left the session. So we're going to bring everybody back in. Okay, if you can quickly fire up the lobby, uh, and then we can do a custom grid and get these people in, Kenzie, as quickly as we can. Right up. Uh, quite a few cars were in AI mode. They were not there. Uh, at least one person was caught short in the grid as well. And one person had left the session already. So we have to... Yeah, it's a restart. It's a restart. There were guys that are not ready. Uh, somebody readied up. I think it was XRL Ultimate. So we're going to have to go for a restart. It's the only fair way to do it, to make sure everyone's got a chance of putting their setups on and, uh, you know, make sure everything's all, all good. And then we'll go again. Kenzie's just quickly firing up the lobby. And uh, we'll get you guys back in. Uh, there we go. Custom grid. Right. Uh, if you pick me an invite first, mate. Get me in first. Tracks like Canada. And... Do, 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 do. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, it's not fair to get going when the people aren't ready. That's... Uh, Ultimate's going to be... Uh, Penalised for that for next week, I'm afraid. Okay, so let's start picking out the invites in, Kenzie, and let's get these people in as quickly as we can. Righty ho. But what I'll do is, uh, in the meantime, I'm actually going to mute the mics and play some highlights from a previous race whilst we're getting this organised. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Welcome to Beer and Kebabs TV's Highlight Reels. We're going to take a look back at last week's iconic Division 1 Chinese Grand Prix in seriously tricky and testy conditions. What a race. Oh, apparently Sam got a drive through penalty for jumping the star, but nevertheless, uh, it's race time. And, and a lot of the drivers off very, very slowly. And uh, they'll say Sam Tapner 
already into the lead and uh, ski fees a lot of these drivers are starting to I think there's a major reshuffle here but is there Sim Sam Song what's he doing up in fourth place trying to battle for third that's what he's doing and I think he's got no he's gone down to fifth and oh my what the Alfa Romeos they're starting to drop places as well it's all it's all happening up and down the field I don't even know who to focus on Sam trying to keep Nate behind him for fifth place my the, God. the grid, the, the grid is all wrong. The grid was all wrong, mate. What? What's happened? I don't know, but the grid was wrong. Oh and if you my. guys in the chat can see that, the grid order was was wrong for the start of the race. Anyway, let's jump on board in Nathan Freeman going side by side, it's coming their way through up towards the horseshoe. Here we go, three-way dance into the uh, hairpin. We've got Adam LB heavy under the brake. He's got Nathan on the inside, and here comes Race Roller looking for a move as well. It's oh so tight. They are struggling for grip here. It is really, really tricky conditions with the rain continuing to come down. Nathan goes up the inside there of Race Roller. Did he? Has he made that one stick? Oh, man, they're still side by side. I'm going to jump on board with these cars. He's managed to get him down the main straight, though. Looking backwards, it's drag race. JD goes late on the brakes, coming into the hairpin. Has he held it? I think he has. But here comes Benny with the switchback move as they come up towards the last corner. Oh, Apex, they've got a wheel spin up there. Who is going to yield coming into the last corner? This is so, so tight. Someone needs to yield. Oh, they've gone through side by side, but Benny, a bit of a squeeze there. And that's going to allow smokes are uh, having a bit of a ding-dong here, coming through the horseshoe. Oh, who's going to give ground here? JD's trying to roll it around the outside where the grip might be. Bit of slight contact there with Smoke's uh, right, uh, left rear tyre. Apex gets back on the power. This is going to be close. There's still DRS. So you'd imagine Apex should get a, a re-overtake here. Smoke goes defensive. Middle of the track. Keeping an eye in his wing wrist to see where Apex is. There he is. Flying past you. But Smoke tries to brake late on the brakes. Apex is positioning the car nicely. Gets a little bit of oversteer though. Smoke's going to have a run back at him. But who is going to blink first going into the final corner? They are so, so close. Smoke rolling the Simam. Oh, we've also got Beast Assassin trying to go around the outside of uh, F50 Max there as well. This is breathtaking action, uh, Kenzie. Absolutely. I think... Oh, and Nathan's still there. Look at this going around the corner. They are still side by side. Eventually... Beast gets the job done, but I wonder if Nathan's got uh, F50, uh, got Ninja and F50 Max here under braking into six. Who is going to have the ball to still go around the outside? They're just making a little bit of contact there. Whoa. Ninja's got slightly the better traction. AMS Cookie's right behind these guys. So, oh, here comes Ninja for the lead. Okay, so a little look. Thank you, Kenzie. And he's through. He is indeed. But the hairpin. Beast Assassins are fighting back. But I think Ninja's back. Yeah, I think Ninja's got the high ground. Let's see if pans out. Yeah, it could be one of those cases of short term short term loss for a potential long term gain. Race road they're going to the inside of Freeman getting the job done again. Two guys who are well known to each other styles of racing, both race of course in SLR. See Oscar there tucked in behind smoke as well. We've got four class very, very close on the track here. My word, this is Can he hold it under brake in? Oh, He's going around the outside. Wheels. They are banging wheels. Let's jump on board. And Freeman out of nowhere! Freeman gets the job done. Moves and And into second place! Oh, I've got How a, got a, did he make that? Okay, I've got a... What's happened there? Um, whoa, I've flicked off the screen. There we go, race roller. Uh, Oscar's just made a move on race roller. Oh, it's a three-way dance coming into the, uh, the hairpin. Who is going to blink first? Oscar sends one. Race roller is going to do a double switchback move. Oh, hello. Great driving. <laughs> Opportunistic move there from race roller. Double overtake on the switchback. You don't see that very often. Top, top, top driving. Nail this. He can get the draft off Jakey and the DRS. I might be a bit too far back, possibly. Let's stay on board. He's got Brandon right behind him. Ninja goes to, the, uh, goes to the right. Jakey follows him. Jakey switches to the outside. Here they come, coming into the hairpin. This is crucial. Ninja defending beautifully. Oh, and Chris is going to have a look at the inside here. Oh, my word. All three, all four cars going through the hairpin, nose to stern. He's going to switch around the outside. Is this the time he's going to finally get the job done? But, but Ninja's still holding him. Ninja's still holding beautifully. Look, and the, man, he's making his tyres work. He's not making it easy. And Crispy's having a look there. And Ninja covers off Jakey again. And here comes Crispy round the outside. Oh, my goodness me. They are side by side. Crispy might have a good run here, possibly. Oh, just enough room there given. That was an amazing driving. Get the clips on, ladies and gentlemen. It's Crispy's car. It's right on him. Well, Crispy is going to go around the outside, leaving just enough room there. Who gets the better traction out the corner? Oh, a bit, bit, of, a, bit of a love tap. Crispy. Oh, Crispy's got great traction. Crispy's going to oh, take the lead. Mind. 
He is going to take the lead here. J uh, Jakey has to yield, but Jakey will come straight back at him. What a drive by Crispy. Yeah, Jake, and here, here he comes. He's going to go around the outside. I don't think there's anything Crispy can do about this one. And Jakey. Storms back through with what, what does Jakey say, Kenzie? Thank you very much. I'll have a bit of that. Side. Ooh, man, that's so, so close. Heavy under the braking. Is he going to get a job done? Yellow's in sector three. That somebody has crashed on the start finish line. It's Adam LB. Adam LB's gone. Oh, my word. Is it too late for a safety car? We might get a job done here. In fact, surely is. Look at the overspeed in the Alpha Tori. Is he going to breeze past his teammate? Oh, he says, oh. cheerio. Bye-bye. Sayonara. See you later. DRS and tow. Oh, here we go. Ninja moves the inside. It's it's a, it's a three-way dance into the hairpin. Who is going to blink first? Oh, Ninja goes so, so late on the brakes. Given the room, Freeman's going to look to switch back. But, oh, Ninja, double overtake gets the job done. Hit the clip button, ladies and gentlemen. You know what to do. Hello, hello, hello. We've got, we got action. We've got action. Top two. Brandon and Crispy Ooh. side by side. Three laps to go, and this race still ain't over. Oh, man. Produce a little bit of magic here going through the hairpin. It is, oh, so close. Jakey gets good traction out of the final quarter. Oh, has a slight moment. Has a wobble Ooh. getting back onto the racing line there. Bit of a power slide, Tokyo Drift. But it looks like Jakey's going to take the checker flag and victory here in China. What a fantastic race. Jakey takes checker flag, Bradman P2, Crispy P3. What a great drive, Oscar P4. Yep, all set. Yep. Sorry, I'm talking off mic to Kenzie. You have to excuse me. Uh, we are good to go, I think, yes. Just checking everything. Yeah, we're good to go. Right, ready up, let's do this. We're all in spectate mode. Yes, we are good to go. Okay. And it's a good job I stopped, and it's a good job I uh, got plenty of beverages with me. <laughs> Okay, now obviously we do have the screenshots of the tyres as well. So if anyone's, well, I wouldn't, no one would be naughty, but if they are, they will be caught. I'm sure nobody would ever dream of starting with a different set of comp, a different set of tyres. Yeah, but, but that's mainly for the top ten. Uh, is there a break? Um, not really, because everyone's had their break. We can pretty much we can pretty much go in now because everyone's had a break, as we've been sorting out a restart. So uh, everyone should be pretty much good to go. So in fact, we've only lost about five minutes, Kenzie, <laughs> which is the good news. But we're going to be going again. We're just going to wait for the guys to sort themselves out. They'll just be putting their setups on and everything. And then um, we're pretty much good to go. Um, in fact, what I will do, where are we? 22.09. I'm going to put a ready up for 22.11. Give the guys just two minutes just to sort themselves out. Okay. If I can spell ready up, that is. Okay, we're going to go in uh, just a smidge under two minutes. Uh, the weather is set for a light, well, in fact, no, it's set for all clear, which it, I was told, reliably told by quite a few drivers, it was set all clear for the race. So the only difference they'll find to their qualifiers, in fact, they'll all be starting on fresh tyres as opposed to uh, any scrub set. But I don't think, I think, from if I recall correctly, the guys who got through had only done one flying lap on their tyres anyway, so the, the change in tyre wear is absolutely minimal. Yeah. So I'll quickly just go through those uh, that are in the top 10 that are meant to be starting on mediums. Uh, Nikki, Freeman, Sam Tabner, yeah. F50 Max, Sykes Zaney, uh, Adam LB and Fendium. Okay, thank you, Kenzie. Alrighty. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We had to, had to quickly reset a custom grid because we had a trigger happy XRL ultimate. Bless his cotton socks. And um, we had to do a restart. A couple of the guys weren't actually on the grid. And uh, 
Even so, we do have a very strict policy. Um, if anyone readies up, we go for, an, in, as far as the league race is concerned, we go for an auto restart. Just to be fair, to give everyone a chance to people go and use the loo, grab a drink, whatever they need to do. It's the only fair way to do it. But thanks for tuning in, everybody. Really appreciate you all. And uh, looking forward to what should be an absolutely classic race tonight. It's going to be a belter. Countdown clock will be ticking very, very shortly. Uh, Vulcan says, Beard, do you run anything on the set of cause of comp competizione? Um, no, we don't, to be fair. Um, if you would like to organise something, Vulcan, you are more than welcome. Um, our hands are really, really full. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if any of you guys want to, want to organise something, um, you're more than welcome. Of course, we do have a, a FIFA team that's going great guns at the moment uh, in the online virtual league realm. So it would be lovely to branch out onto another platform, onto another game as well. Uh, the ready up time is 20 to 11. Is it 20 to 11? Yes, it is. Let's ready up. Let's do this. Let's go, 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 go. Well, who's going to be first to ready up? Let's have a little look. Who's going to be first? I'm watching. I'm watching. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Everyone's scared to press the ready up button now in case I give out a quali ban. Oh, someone has. It's Adam LB. Quali ban for Adam LB. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, we're going to do Is it How many laps are is it? Is it 35, Kenzie, isn't it, I believe? Uh, around camera laps. Yeah, 35, yeah. 35. High octane, high drama, high voltage laps around the circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. Named after, of course, one of Canada's... Canada? One of Canada, the Canadian's <laughs> finest. <laughs> yeah. One of the great drivers. One of the great drivers, indeed. Sadly, of course, lost his life at uh, Imola. Uh, no, uh, it was Zolder he lost Zolder, his life. Zolder, sorry. Zolder, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. He got thrown into the barrier, literally. The car was in bits. Okay, formation lap is on. I'm going to go back trackside. Let's have a look at this. Actually, this I need to do regarding uh, Discord. I don't know if I've got the time to do it right now. Uh, right, Kenzie. Um, it's going to be your start. There's tie strats for you at home, everybody. I'm just going to put a fresh Discord link up because the link has expired, the one I normally use. So I'm going to do that now, just whilst the guys are on their... Uh, that's what's supposed to happen. Are you ready, Kenzie? Ready as I'll ever be. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be a classic race tonight. I will just put a quick link up in the Discord if I can get off this damn screen. There we go. So they're just getting some t uh, some heat into their tyres, and then we're going to go racing. We've got a front row lockout with the Alpha Toys SLR and Nikki. Well, that's stonking lap in qualifying. Was it a 107? Was it again? 107? 107.6. 107.6. Wow. What a lap that was. What a lap indeed. But we're about to go racing, ladies and gents. 35 laps around the circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. Kenzie will be calling the start. Don't forget, we will have a 30 second time delay. Because the game is broken. And uh, Kenzie, it's over to you. All righty then. So, so quick update on the uh, championship permutations. Um, Brandon has uh, outqualified Oscar, so he's got a point to his advantage. Third place and Oscu fails to finish. Brandon wraps up the championship tonight. The engines are revving up. 
and it is race time here at Gilles Villeneuve. Freeman already off to a great start, but here comes Bingley, and uh, but whoa, Freeman round the outside of turn one and storms into the lead. Brandon and Bingley battling for third place, leaving Oscu for dead. F50 Max getting ahead of Sam Tapner. Meanwhile, Ultimate's had a good start as well, but Freeman on the outside of turn one, that's the big talking point right now. He stormed out the outside of turn one, took the lead from Nicky and said, thank you very much, I'll have a bit of that. Absolutely, what a stonking start from Freeman. He absolutely floored it on the approach to turn one and got the job done. So Nicky was in P1 for approximately 0.3 seconds. But he is, he, has, he is now officially a race leader in TIR, at least at some stage. Bless his cotton socks. But let's have a look at the position change. Get some telemetry up on the screen. Let's get some position changes for you at home. Um, thankfully, so far, a nice clean start as well. Bingley P3, Brandon P4, Oscar P5, Saxony in P6, he's made ground. Uh, F50 Max in P7, Sam Tabler has dropped four places, did not get a good start. Findy Young has gained one place from Adam LB as they make their way through to the Wall of Champions to end lap one. We're about to go, oh, and dear, oh, dear. We've got uh, that Force Indian race roller rubbed over the curve there, but held position. Oh, Skiffy's in. Uh, Skiffy is in the pits. We've got Finn on Sam. Finn has got the move done on Sam Tablet under braking into P2. He gets, gets another position at turn two, moves himself up into P8. Ladies and gentlemen, no DRS, of course. That gets activated next lap. Zydrad is looking to make some ground. He's on the back of his SLR compatriot, race roller 22. In fact, oh, Zydra is going to send one up turn six. Oh, they had to back out there, and Cookie Chip had to get on the brakes. Pretty damn sharpish there coming into turn uh, turn six. Okay, let's go back onto tyre strats and stops. DRS, of course, will be activated. Nice lap. It's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, XR Ultimate is uh, alongside Zydra coming up to the chicane. Who is going to give ground there? Zydra is sending one up the Whoa! inside. I'll tell you what. Ultimate had to bail out of there in a hurry. And that allowed Cookie Chip to go alongside. Going to jump on board these guys. Got a whole gaggle of cars here making the way down. Look at this. Ultimate, Cookie Chip, Zydra. Oh, Ultimate's going to run out of road if he's not careful there. And look at Crispy alongside XRL Ultimate. This is a, it's a straightforward drag race down turn one. And uh, Crispy is going to get the job done. Oh, but Ultimate tries to hang it in so, so late into turn one. Oh, they're just <laughs> they're just rubbing wheels. Oh, 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 dear, oh, dear. Careful, guys. Careful, careful, careful. Handbags at dawn there. Ultimate just <laughs> holds Crispy off. But to tell you what, Crispy will be like, Oi, get out of my way. <laughs> wow, that was, was a bit <laughs> harem scare him, Kens. Yeah, just barged. Just forced him out of the way that discounted tv's mine Ooh. on a black friday sale hello oh, chris oh, well, there's been a contact at the back i wish i hadn't left that battle it's crispy um i'm not sure whether there's a contact with another car or what happened there but he had a spin at turn six and he's lost an end plate as well Not sure if that was just uh, a spin on his own or whether there was a slight contact. We know what the game physics are like. It likes to spin these cars at the slightest opportunity. Just yeah. watching LP Smoke here. Going to have a run at Relic. Look, Relic is on the hard tyres. The smoke's going to switch to the outside. He's going to try and run it round the outside into the Wall of Champions chicane. And I think he's going to get the job done. Yes, indeed he does. Moves himself up to P15. Relic will start on the hard compound tyre. So he's going to struggle initially. His race will come later on. But we've got a whole gaggle of cars at the moment. We're going to switch back to broadcast cam so you can get some better views as to what's going to be happening tonight. Uh, Crispy is in the pits to replace that wing. That's going to mean Skiffy is going to get at one position back at least. Uh, S SLR Nicky, though, is back on terms with Freeman. He had dropped out of one second. He's now back within DRS range of Freeman. So it's still a one, your 1-2 one in the Alpha Tori as they make their way through turn 8. Pretty good start, Kenzie. Pretty good start. Yeah. A couple of yeah. minor incidents, but pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Crispy has switched there to the hard compound tyre, so I think he's going to be going to the end. But we have got a 11-car DRS train. And Psych is having He's lining up Oscu here. Let's jump on board. She comes into the Wall of Champions. Oh, oh, good Lord, good Lord. Oh, oh, my goodness me. A lot of wheel bashing there. Oh, my goodness me. How did those two cars get through there alive? 
And look at look at F50 Max oh. at the inside for a double overtake. Has he made this one stick? And Findium's coming through as well. Oh, there's been a bit of a contact there. <laughs> Good lord, they went three, I think nearly four four cars abreast into turn two. Sykes going to have to go defensive here to try and ward off Findium, who's all snapping at his heels here. What a bit of action there. Uh, Excellent Ultimate has got past Cookie Chip. Oh, Findium sends one up into turn seven. <laughs> Uh, sorry, turn five, sorry. Has he made it stick? I don't think so. It's like Zany switched back, switched backs straight away. Goodness Ooh. me, let's jump on Adam LB's car. He is at the back of this particular... Well, he's, he's not, because race is just behind him. What a bit of action there, ladies and gentlemen. That was astonishing. Uh, Cookie Chip picks up a three-second panic. There were four abreast coming out. Oh, Adam LB sent at the inside of the hairpin. Oh, he's getting close to the back of Sam Tabner. Race roller is right there as well. Oh, Adam will be almost runs race off the track there, but Adam will be what's the car in front, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is great. We've got a DRS train, Oscu, all the way down to race roller. F50 Max might fancy run it to Oscu here if he can get a, because we know where he, 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 like, he loves a good lunge, but not this particular time. Yeah, yeah well played, decides against it on this occasion. <laughs> Cookie Chip and Ultimate. Oh, and Cookie Chip had a look at the inside of Ultimate. Ultimate shut the door. Cookie, of course, on the medium compound tyre. So he will be at a disadvantage early doors. But his race also will come back to him a little bit later on. I tell you what, Oscar's uh, going to be vulnerable, isn't he? Because he's the one car who's out of the train at the moment. He is leading the second train. Well, for want of a better word. That's a harsh penalty there from Codemasters. Yeah, for Ultimate, yeah. Very set, and, oh, and Finium gets one as well. Oh, wow, that's something you don't see very often. Finium picking up a three-second penalty. Yeah. And, and this is effectively allowing Brandon to start uh, growing that gap. Yeah, thinking about a possible championship here. Now, is F50 Max closer to Woski this time around? I don't think he is, but we've got some action up front because it looks like Bingley has just got the inside of all the champions and has taken the lead of the Grand Prix <laughs> with an audacious move. And he's got the DRS to defend as well. But Freeman's trying to draft him coming into turn one. Bingley goes defensive. Freeman's going to try and outbreak him, go the long way Outside around turn, turn one. one. Are you kidding me? Oh, my word. And he's and got he's the it. job done. What a great counter from Freeman. Was not expecting that. Sykesanian wow. and, and Findium, Sykesanian and Findium. Who is going to give ground here? They're coming through turn three. Syke just holds off Findium. But Finn is not, Finn might send, but Finn's going to send it here. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Can Syke defend this one? I don't think he can. Findium gets the job done. Moves himself up in a P7 and he'll have DRS in the car in front to protect his advantage as well. What a little spell of racing that was, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from these guys. <laughs> Woo! Where it's at, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But I mean, that, that that's got to be up there as that's got to be up there as one of the bravest overtakes I've seen of the season so far. Freeman outside oh. of turn one on Bingley. Yeah, having just been overtaken into the wall of champions, Bingley must have thought, "I've got the job done." <laughs> and but, and but, Freeman's but, just like, "Are you sure about that?" The, well, they're almost at it again. Freeman having to defend hard coming to the Wall of Champions. It's a four-way dance because there's Brandon and P4. What about F50 Max on Oscar? Oh, we might have a run at Oscar here. Oscar goes defensive. F50 Max is going to go around the outside, which becomes the inside. Oscar's going to try and hang it in late on the brakes. Oh, this is so close coming through turn two. Oscar has just about defended that one. He has indeed. Good lord, great battle in there. Cookie Chip and Ultimate are still going at it as well. They're going at it. Hammer and Tongs, P13, P14. Good evening, race division. Welcome. <laughs> what a start to this race. Action packed and pretty fair as well, I have to say. Yeah. But F50 Max is now going to have another run at Oscu. Oscu's defensive into turn seven. Oscu's going to just about hold him off here. Oh, a switch back from F50 Max. This could be a stunning Whoa! bit of driving. Oh, great move. Great move. He's got the job done, but he's going to be vulnerable. Oscu's going to have DRS, though. So F50 Max might find himself defending incredibly hard here. He needs a great exit. He's got a pretty good exit, to be fair. But Oscu's going to come back at him. Let's have a look at Findium. Currently... He's, he's getting the double DRS, he's getting the toe, he's going to get the job done, Oscu. Is he going to have a look at F50 Max? F50 Max is shutting the door. F50 Max has shut the door. What about Oscu at the inside of the wall of champions? Oh my word, that was so close and he gets the move done. Wow. But here, and here comes Sykes Zaney on Oscu as well. Coming up to turn one. What is going to happen? Oh, Oscu's gone to the back of Findium. He's hit Findium. Oh, that's Oscu's folk. That's Oscu's folk. 
That's Oscar's oh, fault. Oh, that's oh, that was oh, sloppy. Was that was that, that was poor. That was poor. Adam LB got caught up in that as well. Yeah. How crucial is that going to be for the championship? Oh dear, oh dear. Now, Oscar's got damage now. How did that affect Finn? Did Finn get damaged or not? But Oscar definitely outbreaked himself into turn one. He caused that incident there. Well, seemingly. I just call it as I see it. You know what I mean. Uh, Zydrad's going to make a move on Oscar, I think, here as well. Oscar's going to, he's missing an end plate, left front end plate, so he's losing a lot of uh, uh, aerodynamic oh, grip at the moment. He is going to have oh, to come in and pit all, that. It's all gone wrong so quickly. Oh, we almost lost the back end there. It's all gone wrong so quickly for Oscar. Adam LB is going to have a run up here. Adam LB sends it into the uh, into the hairpin. Oscar has to yield there. Uh, here we go, Freeman and Bingley, Freeman and Bingley again. Bingley's, Freeman's gone. Oh, what's Bing oh, Bingley's coming in the pits. Good Lord. I <laughs> wow. I, was all, I thought Bingley had overshot it, but he was just coming into the pits, uh, getting rid of those uh, soft compound tyres. I, I think this is, this is going to come down to Freeman and... This is going to come down to Freeman and Bingley for the win. Well, they're on, on, they're on mirror strategies, aren't they? Unless one of them is two-stopping. That's a valid point. But Oscar's pitted and he's had to come out on... He's come out on mediums. Um, so he can just about go to the end of the race. Uh, Sykes only then trying to chase down F50 Max. F50 Max, as usual, Mr. Feisty. He loves loves a good overtake, does F50 Max. He spots the opportunity. He goes for it. Uh, Vulcan, yeah, that, was, uh, that wasn't commentator's curse. That was chat curse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and and discreetly just pointing out there, Oscar Oscar fights too much. Needs to learn to pick his battles. I mean, I mean that that's a very valid point now that now that he mentions it. Uh, so we have seen that Oscar has just just been like, if he sees an opportunity, he's just gonna go for it. Yeah. Without without even thinking about the repercussions of uh, the move. I think, I mean, Oscar, uh, yeah, he's, he's a young guy and he's extremely quick, extremely talented, and I'm sure he will learn by any mistakes that are made, he will learn very, very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Zydrad uh, on the back of Adam LB, uh, the Alfa Romeo versus Red Bull, of course, equal cars. Uh, let's see how he gets on. We'll switch over to the broadcast cam in a minute. We'll have a look and see what's going on. Um, we've got a nice little three way down. Sam Tab has found his way up to P6. Uh, started P4, did drop down a few positions at the start, but has come back at the P6, uh, I think because of that. Uh, oh, we've got yellows in sector two. Okay, we've got a oh. Williams going slow. Is that a 50 Max going slow? No, it's Crispy. It's Crispy. He's, it's, uh, he's, uh, he's a bad mark. He's, oh, he's, he's a lap down. To... Oh, no, yeah, Crispy. Yeah, he's a lap down already. I can't... Okay, no, what Crispy's done, he is... Um, he came out on the hards, didn't he? So he's changed his strategy, I think. I think he's changed his strategy. Either that, or he's had another. He's lost a wing or something. But he is. He's now on the medium compound tire, so um, he can unlap himself if he's if he's comfortably faster than the car in front. He's well within his means to unlap himself. Uh, Freeman's in the pits. He's going to try and cover off Bingley's pit stop. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to jump on board with Freeman just for a minute. I know there's other other action going on. I want to have a look to see where Freeman comes out in t in regards to Bingley. Bingley is. Uh, in fact, I think Bingley's already come through. Or has he? <coughs> He's just coming through now. I think Bingley has got an undercut on Freeman. Yes, he has. But it, crucially, uh, Freeman came out in front of Relic Nook, so he, he's only got uh, Bingley in front of him, and Bingley's just picked up a three-second penalty. Of course, we know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, Canada is the king of penalties. If there's one track yeah. you pick penalties up, it's around here. It really, really is. Yeah, um, especially, especially through those chicanes. Yeah, it is so, so easy to do. Uh, Jakey G in chat says, Oscar's a talented driver. I know we've both had our differences on track, but he's still a very good driver. Absolutely. Oh, Sam gets a snap of oversteer, getting the power down as he comes out of the hairpin. Now, uh, is that allowed race roll to cruise up behind him? Not really. Uh, Massey said, it's also the worst track for pit lane speed penalties. Yeah, didn't you pick one up last night, uh, Chris? Uh, memory serves me correct I think you might have done um, right the medium runners are coming into the pits now they're going to be going into the hards aren't they okay so we've got some split strategies Kenzie we've got me we've got and so is Brandon yeah so we've Brandon, got Brandon's going to the end we've got medium hard one stoppers and those going on to softs might need to be a two stop realistically 
Okay, now Finn's just come through. Now, has he? No, he hasn't quite cleared Nicky. He was hoping to get an undercut on Nicky, but Nicky's come out in front of him. But he's on completely opposite tyres. Finn, maybe. I think Finn's going to be two stopping. Yeah, because I am. And uh, Oscu might be a stretch for him uh, on the mediums. He might need to come in again. I think, yeah, I think he will, mate. Um, 25 in the medium is a long stretch. Now, Finn. He needs to clear uh, SLR and Nicky, and he is... Yeah, that was important. He had to get that, that, that move done quickly. He needs to clear Relic Nook as well pretty quickly. Uh, Relic won't be coming in for quite a long time yet. Uh, cookie tip with a three-second time penalty. Uh, let's have a little look at what's going on up front as well, because Bigley's on the back of Smoke. Smoke get to pit, of course. Smoke, Adam LB and Sam Tabler, your first three yet to make a pit stop. Uh, in fact, Sam Tablet comes in. He comes in now, and uh, Adam LB follows him in as well. So now Bingley can de facto take, retake the lead as he passes Smoke, who's yet to make a pit stop. And there in the background, you see Freeman's car. It's like Zaney, though. He just, got, he just overtook uh, Brandon uh, at, uh, at the final UK. Oh, look at F50 Max and Brandon coming down towards oh, turn oh, one. Oh, Max is going to send one to turn one. Has he held it? He's gone very, very deep, but he just about covers off Brandon. Let's have a look at Brandon's car. Yes, he does. He covers him off. We got yellows in sector two. That's crispy, I think. Is that crispy gone off? It is crispy. Oh, he's going to get a blue flag. A ton of blue flags now as well. He's got a whole. He's got there the leaders one, all behind there him. There goes two. There goes three. Oh, you got to feel for crispy. You really, really have. Yeah. Emblem Esports are in the chat. Hey guys, how you doing? Woohoo! St stick around for a little while. You might see a little video. Nice to see you, fellas. Sykes going to look for an inside move on Nicky. Oh, this is ballsy. He's going to have to almost... Oh, does Nicky give the room? Let's have a quick little look. Just coming into the hairpin. Yes, yeah, Sykes does just about get the job done. F50 Max is now... And he's now got uh, Relic Nook, who's on uh, um, used hard compound tyres. Oh, but look at this. Nicky's coming flying through the mid middle like a torpedo. Look at Nicky. <laughs> oh, good Lord. There was almost contact there. Is it coming through the wall of champions? Chicane. Nicky gets the job done on Relic Nook. And F50 Max is going to have a little look. Let's jump on board. Yes, indeed. He gets the job done. Moves himself up in a P7. Relic's starting to go backwards oh. now. But his <laughs> race. What, here, Nicky go ahead. Nicky had a look at Psych there, but uh, couldn't quite make it stick. Nicky is on fire tonight. He is really, really uh, motoring. You've, you've got to think that pole position has given him a lot of yeah. momentum for the race. It's given him an awful amount of confidence. He feels like he can do something special tonight, and he is not out of this race, not by a long shot, that's for sure. Hey, nice to see you guys at Emblem. How you doing, guys? Don't forget, anyone new to the channel, hit the follow button. Let me know who you are so I can give you a nice warm welcome to the channel. And F50 Max is all over the back of SLR Nikki like a praying mantis on speed. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and meanwhile, up front, you've still got Freeman and Bingley battling them. Or. Battling for the lead. Oh! I'm looking Freeman at. Freeman had a look. They were side by side, but Bingley beats a little later and said to Freeman, You're going to have to work harder than that to get past me. To which Freeman responds by trying to go around the outside of turn one, and he spins. Oh, no! Or was the con oh, no. was, was the contact? Was the contact, Ken? I just there, missed the end of it. There was contact. There was contact, and it's resulted in uh, Freeman dropping a couple of positions. Has that resulted in damage, though? No, it hasn't. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts? Was there anyone to blame there, or a racing incident? I think it, I think that comes. I think that comes. In my eyes, I would put, class that as a racing incident. Okay. But Freeman's back up and running, and he has lost a bit of time. Not a huge amount of time, to be fair. He managed to spin that car around and get back going pretty damn quickly. He's lost about, I say, half a dozen seconds, which is pretty. That's a pretty good turnaround, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, let's have a little look that back down the field. Cookie, cookie chip. Uh, by the way, we saw Race Roller get past Brandon uh, last lap around here. I'm going to drop back into uh, broadcast cam as they come through the uh, the hairpin. Man, it's hot in here. Woo. I think it's the heat. From this race, Kenzie. I'm melting, yeah. brother. Yeah, Fit Finger, meanwhile, just got ahead of smoke on the water. He's now up into second place after crashing out in Q1. What a recovery drive. Yeah, he started in P10, of course, made his way now up into P2. Let's have a look at F50 Max, our little speed king. He's on the back of Freeman. Freeman looking to try and recover his race a little bit. LP Smoke was yet to make a pit stop. Findium is on a two stopper, though. He will be having to make a, one more pit stop before. 
the end of the race. Oh, it's gone! Oh, no! That's the wall of... Oh, no, he's retired in the pits. Has he? Yeah. Oh, it's not good if that's the case. Unless something's happened that we don't know about. Oh, I'll wait to get a message from him. Um, thankfully, it's not thrown out of the safety car yet. Here comes Cookie Chip. Gets ahead of Brandon. On and Brandon, causing, yeah. That is causing Brandon to plummet down the order. But, of course, those that are on the softs and <clears> mediums <throat> compared to Brandon being on the hards, the hards are going to start to come alive towards the end of the race. Whereas those that are on the mediums and the softs, they're either going to need to stop again or, in Smoke's case, still needs to stop. Oh, we've got some overtaking going on here. We've got Max has got past Freeman with a ballsy move. <laughs> and Race Rollers just got past SLM Nicky, uh, his SLR counterpart. Freeman is going to come right back here. Freeman's going to come right back, but Max puts his car beautifully. Is Freeman going to send up the inside to turn one? No, he backs out. Wise, good driving there, good thinking. Uh, I wasn't have, did not want a repeat of what happened between him and uh, Bingley earlier on. Okay, Brandon retook position off Cookie Chip, by the way, and we say we saw um, Race Roller get past uh, SLR Nikki for P7. It's all happening here, ladies and gents. It is so hard <laughs> to keep up with the action because they are all over each other like rashes. Yeah, action up and down the field. This is what you love to see on a Friday night. Absolutely. What better place to be on a Friday night than watching some high-quality racing, courtesy of the Total Impact Racing superstars. Freeman there picked up their three-second time penalty. Forget the pub. Forget the nightclubs. If you want excitement of a normal sexual nature, you know where to come and watch <laughs> on a Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some movement up top. Sykesania has got past Smoke with a bit of DRS. Well, Smoke's going Smoke's to go for a medium soft here, isn't he? He's one stopping medium soft. He's, he's going to try and do what, Le yeah, what that, Leclerc did. Like gonna, yep. Yeah, I was about to say, he's going to try and do what Leclerc did uh, last night. Which, of course, almost worked out for uh, Leclerc. Here comes Adam LB on Relic Nook. Is he going to get the job done? He's got a nice bit of momentum throughout the Wall of Champions. They're side by side coming down to turn one. Who is going to blink under breaking? Adam LB. Oh, my goodness me. A, a bit of wheel bash in there. A bit of love tapping. Oh, my goodness me. Easy, guys. The, the, it's not even dawn and the handbags are coming out already. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my good Lord. But uh, Adam LB gets the job done. Moves himself up into P11. Uh, Brandon and Cookie are still scrapping away. P9, P10. And then we've got to this, this three-way dance now. Smoke yet to make a pit stop, of course. He'll be coming in around about lap 22-ish, I think, for a set of softs. If he is still going to maintain the medium softs. If his tyres are, are scrubbed, though, he might have to come in earlier and switch to the hards, which would not be optimal now. I'm out of breath, Kenzie. Wow. What racing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She's actually hurting. <laughs> <laughs> now, Freeman might have a good run at Smoke here. Got a very good exit out of the Wall of Champions. Got a little bit of DRS. Will Smoke let him through? Of course, they are uh, rivals, of course, over to SLR. Freeman, though, is going to get the job done. Look at F50 Max. Torpedo Max. Oh, Relic Nook. Uh, He's in the pits. Oh, Smoke's had a spin. Was there a contact oh, no. between... What's happened there? That is, did his tyres go? That's, uh, that's, turn, that's turn two. Yep. Did his tyres go there? Wow. Or did he just lose grip? No, there's no puncher. But wow. It looks, like he, it looks like he has a fair bit of front wing damage. Yep. Spun into the wall. Yeah, and he's lost an end plate as a result. There's a relic nook deep. End up with a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane, though. He's, got, he's on to mediums, though. That will see him through to the end of the race. Yeah, comfortably. I was wondering, though, if Relic was going to try and hang it out for a little bit longer and then put a set of softs on. Okay. We are... Well, we're, gee, Kenzie, we're at lap 20 out of 35. This... I thought we've only just started. Yeah. This, this race has absolutely flown by. Uh, Findium's in the pits. He's making his uh, second stops. So he'll be going in a set of me uh, mediums or softs. It's kind of borderline for both. Uh, Findium's mediums. Mediums, okay. Uh, Freeman picks up a, a ton of the time penalty. Yes, a couple I think he's picked up. Excuse me so far. Adam LB um, is right on the back of uh, Brandon and uh, Cookie Chip. Let's stick this on the broadcast cam. 
I'll take a little look as they make their way through sector two. Uh, Smoke's in the pits. He's got a set of soft tyres going on, so he is going to go to the end on those. They will be pretty uh, pretty knackered by the end, but at least he can get some uh, so get some quick laps in now. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Welcome, dude. Oh, we'll catch up with the chat momentarily. F50 um, Max, meanwhile, goes for Freeman, and he gets into third. Good move there, good move. I'm going to jump back on Adam LB and Brandon, because again, side by side, coming down towards the Wall of Champions chicane. Welcome to uh, Bar Bardia, Bardia, karting driver. Welcome. Freeman and Max are fighting again. No, Freeman and Max are fighting again. Here they go. And look at Race Roller having a look at the inside. Oh, he almost touched <laughs> the back of uh, F50 Max's car. That was uh, very, very close. Wow, what racing we have had tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so far. A couple of little moments, but uh, I tell you what, it's been action-packed. And we're not done yet. We've still got uh, quite a lot of racing. 13 laps to go, plus the lap that they're on. <sighs> wow. Thanks to the host earlier on, Pumpy. I really appreciate it, dude. Uh, Zydrad has just got a move done on Sam Tabner up to P13. Uh, yellows in sectors one and two. Oh, that's about? for Sam Tabner. What's happened to him? He's had a moment. Oh. And I... Oh, he goes racing at 50 max. Oh, that's not good. He's, he's stuck in fourth gear. He's stuck in fourth gear. Sam Tabner's got a gearbox issue. Wow, that's something you very rarely see. Okay, Max is in the pits. What about uh, Findium on Oscu? Findium's going to get the job done, I think, here. Oscu's going to have to just tuck in behind him. Cookie Chip has got a five-second penalty speed in the pit lane. I just want to see what's happened to Sam's car. Let's have a quick little look. He is. He's, he's stuck in fourth gear. Oh, it's all gone wrong for Sam. He was having a pretty tidy race. And yeah, as you can see, ladies and gents, that's not a gearbox glitch in the game. He is literally... Stuck in fourth gear. Oh, poor old Sam. Is he gonna have to retire his car? It looks like he's gonna. It looks like he's gonna have to. Or we'll yeah, just make yeah. a pit stop to see if it will clear it. Hopefully, yeah. That is Pick rare. I do you know? I've only ever seen that on realistic mode. Very rarely, not, and certainly not in this game. That is a real shame for Sam. Uh, Smokes, that's the fastest lap of the race of the 110-1. Yeah, Sam's retired the pits. That's fair yeah. enough. He's, the, the, his car's broken. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that a quality band? Just kidding, Sam. <laughs> Before he comes in and absolutely destroys me for saying that. I am kidding. I am kidding. Okay, here comes Finn on Brandon. This looks like a pretty straightforward overtake here. Uh, Sykes Enny's in the pits. He's two-stopping. His wheel just stopped. Yeah. It's like, all we could see, Sam, is he's stuck in fourth gear, dude. That's, un that's so unfortunate, man. So unfortunate. Yeah. <clears throat> but the way it's standing there, the championship is still very much alive because uh, Brandon is not, as it stands at the moment, is not going to get the points he needs to seal the deal tonight. No, it is going to carry. It is going to carry on to France as it stands. Oh, Sykes just got past Oscu. Uh, with a comfortable overtake there. So I was just checking something. I want to go back onto Freeman. He's all over the back of Race Roller. Coming up to the hairpin. Yeah, that's unlucky, Sam. Yeah. You'll say, yeah, so there, there's the official diagnosis. Cut off in the pits. Lost about 10 seconds. And then all the buttons just stopped. Oh, that sucks, mate. That uh. sucks. But I don't know if Freeman's going to be close enough to... Uh, Oh, he might be actually. Race has gone defensive pretty early. Is Freeman going to send oh, it's, one? It's going gonna, it's gonna to need to be a. It's going to need to be a. It's going to need to be a Daniel Ricardo effectively. <laughs> he he um, goes against it through the uh, through the wall of champions, but he is going to have a go into turn one. Oh, they're still side by side. Got to be careful. Race roller. Got That's good traction. driving. That is good driving. Oh, 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 he had a, he had a stop of oversteer. He had a snap. And Freeman through. Oh, I'll tell you what, he had a, I'll tell you, it was great driving. He had a snap of oversteer, just <laughs> put the uh, put the front end into the into the wall. Didn't get any damage, but he almost collected Freeman. I'll tell you what, that was actually a very good bit of driving by race to control that car in the way that he did, because that could have been a double DNF there oh so easily. Yeah. Was a very, very well played from both of them to be able to yeah. 
avoid a major incident. Now Finn's going to be on the... I've just been spotted there from Wado. Finn's going to be on the back of uh, Nicky pretty soon. He's absolutely flying on those uh, relatively fresh medium compound tyres. Getting to the end on those tyres, of course. Uh, Race Roller is back on the... Is on the back of Freeman again. Let's just jump on board. Oh, they're both pitting. They're both... So they're two stopping as well. Is Bigley going to try and hang it out to the end of the race, I wonder? Tyres looking yeah. okay. Tires oh, looking there we okay. go. Oscar's in, Oscar's in as well. Yep. Uh, Sykes is the fastest lap of the race of the 110-1. Uh, F50 Max on the back of Cookie Chip, two old rivals. Oh, yes. Yeah, sounds... Okay, here comes F50 Max on Cookie Chip. Looks like she can get the job done here. The bit of DRS. Is Cookie going to try and fight back? Uh, Freeman on Zydrad, two rivals as well. Uh, Jay Darby, it's what it says forwards, mate. I couldn't... I mean, you can say a lot of things backwards that means other things, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't worry about it too much. Freeman gets ahead into not, sixth place. Not deliberate. Uh, Freeman, yes, indeed, as you called it, Kenzie, gets the job done. Now, Finn is all over the back of Nicky. Is he going to go for an overtake here? He's in overtake mode. DRS activate. I think he's going to get the job done. Yes, and this, indeed he is. And this is de facto race lead, crucially. Bingley, Bingley is Bingley's in, in the, the pits. pits. Bingley's in for softs. They'll go to the end. Now, has Finn played a masterstroke with his strategy? Depending on penalties, he may very well have done. Uh, Nicky's going to be going to the end on those ties, so he's going to try and hang out. B. He's going to be caught quickly by Bingley, that's for sure. No disrespect to Nicky, but Bingley's just on two compounds softer tyres, and they're going to be new as well. I think they just did a bit of diagnosis in the chat there for, uh, regarding Sam's wheel. So we're going to stay with Syke at the moment. He chases down mm -hmm. Nicky. Um, see, Syke does have, at the moment, fresher tyres than Finn, but he's going to have to make use of them pretty damn quickly if he's going to have any because he needs to pass Finn. Uh, Bingley with a three-second time penalty. That could be important towards the end of the race. So we're at lap 27. We're heading that way now. Yep. Uh, Relic picks up a three-second time penalty there. Uh, unlucky for him. Uh, yellow's in sector three. That's a lap that, car, uh, I think. Yeah, it's just lap car. Is that yeah. crispy? Yeah, Nick uh, looks more likely. Yeah, uh, Nick with another time penalty. Single, uh, uh, Sight might have a run here under braking into two. Oh, here we one. go. Oh, oh, they touch. Oh, that's aggressive. That's aggressive. Easy, easy. Don't do anything stupid, guys. And Sykes through. He is through indeed. Into second. Uh, F50 Max has made a move with Zydrad for P8. And the question for Bingley is how quickly can he catch Nicky Oski? Sets the fastest lap of the race, the 110 flat. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, um, he's just taken seven tenths out of Nicky. Uh, let's go on this battle here, this mid-pack battle with F50 Max, Zydrad, and Cookie Chip. I think penalties could have a major factor on the final result as well, uh, Kenzie. Indeed they will. But again, as it stands, it's not looking likely that uh, Brandon is going to win the championship tonight. He will edge one step closer to it, though. But I don't think he's going to wrap it up tonight unless Oscar has a major incident. Bingley, though respond he takes the fastest lap of the race the 1095 all Zydrad has a bit of a wobble there as he gets on the power coming out of the wall of champ chicane yes and then <coughs> time as a result uh crispy's in the pits uh be putting a set of softs on he'll be going for the fastest lap okay so psych is he's, uh, he's got nothing to lose at the end of absolutely the absolutely totally right dude let's look at freeman freeman's on the back of brandon now uh on much fresher tires just have to watch the overspeed here because it's so easy to run to the back of the car in front. He's got a different braking point because he's on uh, worn hard tyres.
but Freeman might not need that with a bit of DRS. He, oh no, he decides to back out as Brandon goes defensive going into turn seven. Both Ooh. cars were both cars were slightly out of shape there. Oh, Freeman, that's oh, all. Oh, there's no gap careful. there. There's no and race roller oh, goes oh, through. Race roller, where did you come from? Yeah, race roller said thanks a lot. I'll. Uh, <laughs> What's, how does it go? Thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll have a bit of that. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. did a twofer there. He did a twofer. He did a twofer, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the clip button. You know what to do. I think Freeman there did go for a move that wasn't there, to be fair. He was looking for that move at the inside. And Brand just defended his line, which he's perfectly entitled to do. And I think Freeman just kind of uh, ran out of road a little bit there. But he's going to have a good run now. Brandon goes defensive again, so Freeman's going to have to go the long way around. Brandon gives room. Freeman's going to go around the outside of turn one. I think he's going to get the job done this time. Not a lot Brandon can do about that on those uh, completely hard tyres. Don't forget anyone new to the chat. Well, first of all, thanks for tuning in, everybody. As always, I love your support. Love the chat. Love the bounce. Welcome, everybody. If you're new to the channel, hit the follow button. Let me know who you are so I can give you a nice warm welcome and shout out to the channel. Uh, up front, Bingley is now on the back of Nicky. He's caught him. He caught him very, very quickly. It's uh, been about three laps. And Syke is all over the back of Finn as well. Now, it's... Oh, which do I go to? Which do I go to? Is Syke close enough on Finn? Finn gets a good exit out of the hairpin. Syke is in overtake mode. DRS, he's desperate to try and get this job done. But Finn is going to be probably safe coming to the Wall of Champs. What about Bingley and Nicky? I think Bingley's going to get the job done. And he gets the job done. Bingley back up into P3. He's going to be chasing down these leaders. He is on the freshest tyres of all. Look here at Syke and Finn. Syke and Finn league. into turn one. I think Syke's going to get the job done here. He... Does, but Findium's trying to hang it around the outside. Has Syke got it? Yes, he's, he's done got it. The move done. He moves up into Syke's P1. In the lead. Oh, oh, absolute brilliance there from Syke. Absolutely. Uh, Oscu has got past Philip. Look, uh, Zydrad is in the pits for a new set of sauce. He's done a long stint in those hard compound tyres. Now, the question is is this going to be a three way dance? Are the Renaults going to play some team tactics here? Because Bingley is catching these two. There, you can see these cars in front. Uh, FPS Lino, welcome, says, oh, the new races tomorrow. Yeah, we've got two Saturday night races. I'm not streaming on a Saturday because I am racing tomorrow night. But uh, Jason, the Twitch, Twitch Jason TV will be streaming tomorrow night. And Perush, links will be up in Discord tomorrow. Yeah, Bingley just a second and a half behind <clears throat> this battle for effectively the race win now. Since it is we're indeed. In the closing <clears throat> It's grandstand fish time, people. It is Don't indeed. pop the champagne. This ain't <laughs> over yet. It's not over to the fat man sings, and I'm not in a very singing mood tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to watch Adam LB. Oh, no, I need to go back on Finn and Finn and Psych. Jesus, come on, come on, guys. Come on, give us a chance here. I want to get on a... I want to stay in a battle for more than three seconds. <laughs> it's all happening. Bingley's got in within two seconds now of Findium, and he can see them just in the distance it looks like the championship is going to continue though brandon had to outscore oscar by 34 points tonight it's not going to happen the way it's standing let's have a look at finn i tell you what bingley is now within a second and a half we're now going to have a three-way dance kenzie for the finish dude <laughs> yeah it's really really hotting up <laughs> Bingley almost within DRS now of these cars. And if he plays his ERS right, he could be looking for a double overtake before the end of the race. Doesn't quite have DRS on this occasion, but he should more than likely have it on the next lap. Yeah, I'd say so, dude. But Finn is still all over the back of Syke as they come for the Wall of Champions to start lap number 33. Is Finn close enough for a move? Let's jump on board. It's, he's getting closer. Syke's defensive. Oh, Finn's going That's around the brain. outside. Oh, Syke cuts him off. Syke closes the door. And Bingley is right there now. Bingley is right there. Oh, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And Adam LB is all over the back of Relic Nook. Cookie Chip is all over the back of Oscu battling for P9, P10. Fucking hell, man. Excuse me for one second. Wow. Okay, Zyde Zyde. Right the fastest lap of the race. Yeah, Gazza says that Bingley and Syke are a great power couple, like Posh and Bex. Like Gazza and Beer. <laughs> We're the power couple, but uh, Gaz. <laughs> I thought that was Gene Steve. No, it's me and Gaz. The ultimate. Ah. The ultimate team. 
Ah, fair play. <laughs> what can Bingley do? Lap about to start lap, start lap 34, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a quite epic race. I, I apologise if I've stayed on this battle. But this is I where I believe the race is going to be won and lost over the next, uh, the next five minutes or so. Uh, Cookie Chip and Oscar battling again. Uh, Adam LB has finally got past Relic Nook. What the hell? I'm not feeling well. Okay, penultimate lap, lap 34 out of 35. Oh, Bingley, uh, slightly deep into the hairpin at turn 7 and turn 8. It's going to lose him a little bit of time here. But here we go then. Is Finn close enough for a run on Psych Zany? Is he going to just hold his ERS a little bit? No, he's in overtake mode. He is using that. He is using that power right now. I suppose in a way he's got to defend against Bingley, hasn't he? Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's he's right. I think he's he's the filling inside this Renault sandwich at the moment. <laughs> oh, oh is, is, oh, is Finn going to have a look at the inside? His sight goes defensive. Finn's going to have a look around the outside. No, there's no room at the inside. Covers him off again. And there's Bingley. Look how close Bingley is to the back of Finn. Here we go. It's deja vu from last night all over again. Yeah. It, it, it's going to the wire. Oh, I've just seen that from gee, Johnny Bullsack. Quote of the day. How many kids of beers, Gaza? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Finn's just picked up a penalty. Is that going to make a change? But he's having a look at Sykes. Sykes defensive. It could very well do. Bingley had a gearbox glitch. Oh, oh, side by side. Careful, oh, guys. Oh, oh, they're oh, they're oh, both off again. track. Oh, they're both off track. And I tell you what, Bingley might take advantage of this. Just be careful, guys. Come on, come on. We don't want to repeat a last night. We almost did. We almost did. We almost did. Sight going up the inside of Finn. Side by side. Oh, Bingley could oh. get them both here. Bingley could get them both. He's going to have the DRS. But he's... There he right, goes. He's, he's, the, right, he's got one. Sight is, is still there. Him? He's going to go for it. Oh, my God. Bingley's going to get it. Oh, my God. He's done it. But has right he... To the death. Has he? Has he's he? He's done it. Does, is he going to take first though? He's going to. He's going to cross the line first. Is does he? Gonna he keep does the he? Does win? he stay first? Oh my goodness, Lord! Sykes. Sykes taking the win. <laughs> Bingley second. Bingley on P3. Wow! <laughs> right to the death. <coughs> Freeman gets P4. SLR Nikki P5. Race roller P6. F50 Max. P7. Uh, uh, um. A couple of changes down penalty. <coughs> Excuse me. On penalty count back. What an end to the race. Cookie Chip loses a, a couple of positions there. Um, what? A, well, I'll, I'll go through it all in a minute, ladies and gents. What an amazing finish that lap. I, I thought for a horrible moment that Syke and Finn were going to have a moment there at the same corner as last night when they both went off track there at turn eight, uh, the third hairpin. But luckily, and Zydrad finishes off with the fastest lap of the race, by the way, just to uh, yeah. complete. And here comes Skifi. Come on. Yeah. Is is Zydra going to get the fastest lap point even though he finished outside the top um, 10? I can't remember. <laughs> I should know the rules. I can't I don't think he does, to be fair. Okay, I'm going to open the party. Wow. Uh, Finn gets drive of the day. I tell you, it was, it was a good comeback because he came back from P10. To be in uh, a real scrap there for the win, but Sight gets the win. Uh, can you invite the guys in for a chat, please, dude? <coughs> yep, uh, on the case just now. All right, let's give you a rundown then of the final positions. Uh, what a race that was! Sight Jane then takes the win. Bingley P2, they're back. Oski says, uh, why is Sykes so aggressive? I think the same could be said to you, to be fair, matey. So, uh, just think about it. Uh, Bingley P2, Finn P3, Freeman in P4, SLR Nikki in P5, Race Roller P6, uh, Brandon P7, F50 Max P8, Oski in P9, Relic in P10, Adam LB P11, Cookie Chip P12, 
uh, Zydra P13, Smoke P14, uh, ERN Skifi P15, and GG's to Crispy to keep it going. Well done, Crispy. Big thumbs up from the racing guru. Uh, Sam yeah. Tabner with the unfortunate he had to retire in the pits with a broken wheel. Uh, Extra Ultimate just retired in the pits. What an epic race that was. Where's Finn? We, uh, Finn's coming in. There we go. There so we we've go. Got we've all got three, the whole podium in. We've got the podium in. We're going to get the podium screen up and we're going to have a quick chat with these three gentlemen who provided an absolutely epic finish to that race. Yeah. And as far as, far as the Drivers' Championship is concerned, overall, as far as how many points Brandon gained over Osu tonight, it was just five points he gained. Wow. Way less than he needed to win the championship tonight. So the battle does go on. The battle goes on. Yeah, the battle rages on. But let's have a quick chat with race winner Sykes Zaney. Congratulations on your return victory. Man, that was an epic battle you had there with Finn and uh, Bingley. Tell us all about it. Yeah, it was uh, a bit sweaty in the end. But I was very annoyed after qualifying because oh, Q3 was just an absolute mess. Just an absolute shock in qualifying. And then... The race start was alright, I got stuck behind Oscu a bit, and then when I went for the move, he was a bit, like, we were, I think everyone was aggressive tonight, which is, uh, I don't mind it that much, but it was aggressive, and then we um, caused a bit of carnage behind, and then I had to, like, reload, well, Finn was behind me, then overtook me, and then he got past Oscu, and then I got past Oscu, and then Oscu bumped him. Yeah, so Oscu went the strategy of, slightly. Yeah, Oscu went into the back of the to, uh, in turn one. Yeah, yeah. Outbreak lost a couple of seconds, and had to go on a different strategy, I guess. Um, but then, yeah, I pit. My pace on the second set of mediums is actually really good. Once I got the penalty out of the way, because I was trying not to, but then when I got it, I decided to like push more, and I found a lot more time. Was catching Bingley, went for the undercut, had to um, kind of send it on Oscu to get past him and then got past Brandon and then behind Finn and then it was a pretty good overtake on Finn I get well it's just a standard game overtake I guess and then I was trying to um, slow down a bit so Bingley could catch up but then I kind of overdid it a bit too much and then on the last lap because of the way the corner is if I was trying to go side by side I just would have spun on so you kind of have to I my my heart was in my mouth at turn you kind of have to bang wheels otherwise yeah. you just get spun it was my heart was in my mouth so I just in there but it was like deja vu from last yeah. night I thought both cars were going to go flying off and there was going to be an almighty crash and I was like Shh, sugar I'm going to have to do a post I'm going to have to do a not a post-mortem a, a, a post-mortem rather than a podium interview but uh, yeah and then that, that was great mate. I knew I had the um, the race because of the penalties in the top left but yeah. I still wanted to win on track but then at the end there was just no point me fighting it and risking getting like <laughs> damage or taken out so in the end I just played it safe on the last straight Oh, great drive. And of course, you're back with Bingley and Team Rano. The, the, the power couple, the awesome, the, 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 well, the awesome two together. I wouldn't say together. power couple. <laughs> I kind of have to carry them whenever I think we do. Ether, <laughs> Cod, F1. Probably. But um, what are your thoughts on France next week? Uh, it's, it's okay. It can be a bit penalty OTT in the first sector, but it's going to be an absolute sweat fest again because I'm not that confident in quality around there or the race, but I guess we'll just see when time gets to it okay well gg's tonight's psych first i think it's your first uh, first win back in tir so well and congratulations yeah, it is. And, uh, well non-performance win but well non-performance win of course you have one performance haven't you yes indeed but welcome yeah, back welcome back to the uh, the winner's step and uh, look forward to seeing you next week dude cheers cheers well I, i've got to ask a silly question here who uh, um kenzie who finished p2 again <laughs> forgotten uh, which right, one it was Right, it was it was Psych that won. It yeah. was Psych that won the race. It was Bingley that was P two. Bing, Bingley P two. Right, okay. Bingley, congratulations on P two. Back with Psych again. Tell <laughs> us all about your race, dude. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good race actually. Um, I know I wasn't gonna be the quickest. I was probably gonna be around four fifth quickest to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, the first thing was good. Uh, and then just like the second half, the race was really scrappy, and I was just getting. Warnings left, right, and centre. Mm. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'll just take a second place, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm just glad my wheel just doesn't explode halfway through a race or something. <laughs> a good battle with Freeman uh, in the first stint as well, I thought. Yeah, I wasn't bad. I'm not sure exactly what happened between us. I didn't record it, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, I'm just second place is pretty good. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, well, GG's, man. And France next week? 
Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Okay. See if I can survive that one. All right. Well, GG's being the Valon tonight. Uh, one and two for Team Rano. Big points for the Rano, and my goodness me, they needed it. You, I think it's uh, going to move you guys up a few places in the constructors. So look forward to seeing you next week. Bring me in. Congrats on your race tonight. Okay, moving on to P3. It is Findy on P3. Cody's drive of the day, and after a, uh, a disappointment in qualifying, that was a good recovery drive. But tell us all about your race as a whole, Finn, and congratulations. If you're there. Finn, are you there? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. I can hear you now. There, yeah, we, there go. we go. There we go. Yes, very disappointing. Uh, uh, well, well, if I didn't go too well. I bottled myself and uh, started P10, but I knew the undercut was powerful. And uh, I think you said it was Osku who hit me, not yes. too sure. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, that kind of ruined it because I lost, I don't know, three positions there. But I knew the undercut was st strong, and uh, suddenly I realized I'm in the lead. And uh, yeah, from that moment on, what this was just. Just trying to save the tires, and I'm not going to say anything about the last laps before I see it again. Okay, no, that's fair enough. It's on stream anyway. Uh, I was going to yeah. ask you about it, but if you don't want to talk about it, that's perfectly yeah. fine. All I can say from my POV, I was looking from Bingley's POV, and I see the two cars in front of him off the track, basically, going through turn eight. I think it was Kenzie, wasn't it? Turn eight. The, the, third, the third she came before the hairpin. Yeah. But um, Mr. Consistent, though, Finn, um, every race, you're there or thereabouts. And so after, as, as you mentioned about the uh the disappointing qualifying very very good recovery drive um quite possibly if it hadn't been for oscar just out breaking himself in the turn one you might have uh, you, you might have had a race win there tonight in fact i think you probably would have done um but you know we we live and learn by mistakes i make mistakes all the time every time i turn my wheel on i make a mistake <laughs> I, I should i should i should sell it <laughs> just play on a pad or something but um, what are your thoughts on next on next week, Finn? Um, France is it a, a track you enjoy or a track you don't? You, you're not so uh, you, you know, the track you hate. What are your thoughts? A best track, definitely. Okay, okay. Well, well that's good, then, aren't we? You fancy the win? Do you, you fancy? The, do you think you're going to win uh, uh, next week, Finn? Yes. There we go, <laughs> ladies and gents. That, ladies and gentlemen, is confidence. The man has just said a one-word answer. Yes, it's his. Next week, guys, don't even bother turning up. He's got it. That's that, that, that's his that's his philosophy, and I like that style. But there you go, ladies and gents. What a race that was! That was entertaining. Uh, definitely worth a look back on stream. It's, as soon as the stream uh, closes down, it will be available to watch on playback. So there we go. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the podium screen, and I'm just going to head back to the command center and finish off the stream for the evening. So there we go, Kenzie. Thanks for doing the comms as always, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and you know, so doing the comms on top of uh, keeping track of the championship permutations. I, I, I was doing a lot behind the scenes, you, folks. You were, you were indeed. And uh, the championship is alive and well and moving on to France, ladies and gentlemen. So it's not done and dusted yet, not by a long shot. And of course, we've got guys in the party who'll be thinking, those two guys at number one and number two, they're imposters. They're not the real champions. Or we are. And next season, I reckon they're going to try and put that into practice. Watch this space. But uh, yeah. that's it for me. I reckon I'm going to knock things uh, on the head for the night. Thank you for the new followers to the channel and also the uh, gifted subs as well. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm not I'm not streaming tomorrow night. It's a night off from streaming. But I'm racing very, very badly uh, in the Pros League. So come and watch me over on Jason's channel tomorrow night. And, um, yeah, just see. These, these guys put on a racing clinic. You'll see me being sent home in an ambulance probably but there we go that's going to be tomorrow night um i think we're going to do some track trials on sunday um time permitting and then we're on to of course the uh, um where are we next week anyway kenzie what track is it i've forgotten um, uh, it's france it's, it, yeah it's france like Jeez, I'm, honestly i was only just asking finn about it like not two minutes ago and i've forgotten already Oh, just somebody shoot me. I'm just too old for this. Anyways, I'm going to call it a night. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys real soon. Until then, until the next time, take care and Godspeed.